Hello everyone, I'm Apparition Snow. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Currently we are in Balthazar's room, which is absolute nightmare fuel, as you can see. Uh, which is in Moonrise Towers. Um, last time we ended off here and got spiked um, by trying to pull some books from this bookshelf. I think I pulled this one, Conventional Medicine. Uh, and there is a hidden room back there, I think. So first things first is I want to get everything I can from this room. And then uh, before leaving Moonrise, I need to check on the gnomes and tieflings. I'm afraid if I do a long rest, before checking on them, they're going to try and escape without us. So I need to check on that. Um, and then we have to go to the mausoleum, I believe, to find Balthazar and retrieve the artifact or relic that he was sent to retrieve. Which I think is the Shar Temple. I could be mistaken though. So we're gonna leave Moonrise Towers and explore some of the areas of the Shadow Curse Lands that I skipped over last time so that I could get to Moonrise Towers. So, anyway, we're here. Um, there was a book. I think it was one over here. Attention Acolytes that was warning about the bookshelf. So let me reread it. Maybe it will give me a hint. Um, a reminder, Acolytes are permitted entry to my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting moon lanterns. My library is not to be tampered with. Wild absolutely appreciates your eagerness to learn my bookshelves. Do not. Any requests to borrow from them must be given to me in advance and are like to be refused. Should you desire information on poisons, do not think to read any tome on the subject here. They are inclined to grant more knowledge than the written word could provide. Which I figured last time that pulling from the poison shelf would be death. But apparently so is also conventional medicines. So I need to figure out which shelf to pull from if if any of them there could also be a key somewhere i don't know um remember the absolute's purpose is better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind but if you choose death i will ensure you suffer still absolute's purpose is better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind hmm Interesting. Okay, so I uh, I know not to pull from the poison shelf for sure. Um, I hope there's more notes. What do we have, first of all? We've got regular row of books. Conventional medicine. Galvanic interrogations. I don't know what galvanic means. Row of books. Poisons and venoms, so do not pull from that one and musty tomes. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, did I read this? A swift and sudden death. I don't know if I have. Oh, right into the body of the pile of bodies. A scorched book, its pages singed and tattered, though its contents have been rendered illegible by some unknown phenomenon, it is still possible to make out the dedication. For those who doubted me, may the storm claim your final breaths and the earth reject your rest. May the storm claim your final breaths and the earth reject your rest. Does Galvanic have anything to do with storms? I'm actually going to look up what that word means. Hold. Uh, 
Um, it says... Adjective pertaining to or produced by galvanism, producing or caused by an electric current. Affecting or affected as if by galvanism, startling, shocking. Uh, okay, let me look at what galvanism means. Electricity especially is produced by chemical action. Or in medicine, the therapeutic application of electricity to the body. Okay. Maybe that does have to do with storms. Possibly. Uh, oh, there's a heart here. Huh, okay. Uh, personal notes too. Where are the personal notes one? Let me read this first. Um. Oh yeah, I read this one. Install a drain beneath library's conventional medicine shelf. It's wasteful to let all that blood seep through the flagstones and it will rust the spikes besides. Oh, okay, yeah, we already, um triggered that accidentally. Align slashers through the above the same hand and freshening below. Disregard the smell gives me sweet dreams. Okay, so this would have been a hint to not pull from conventional medicine. So I know there must be a note for one of the others. Let's look at Balthazor's notes three. Um... Any works from Morden Canaan must catch up on current events. No Volo, better century of ignorance. In Vellum holds ink like no other, could harvest from an acolyte. New copy of Swift and Sudden Death for Library. Current volume badly scorched. Hmm. What are my options? I have poisons and venoms, galvanic interrogation, conventional medicine, and musty tomes. So I don't see anything that says sudden and swift death. Um, I'm gonna pull just from a regular books just to see what happens. Oh, recipe of drow poison. Oh, scroll of cloud kill. Five to 40 damage, five to eight poison. Craft a large cloud that inflicts five to 40 poison damage per turn. You can reposition the cloud every turn. <gasps> oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, there's two of these. I'm taking it. Um, that would be very beneficial because my um, concern or my um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Um, the thing <laughs> that I didn't like potion of healing recipe, sure I will take it. Um, about some of the other like cloud or area spells is that they can't be moved. Um, so some enemies will just walk right out of it and then it's just there. Ink pot. Okay. I think I'm good for looking at everything in here with the door closed. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, if I loot this place, hopefully. Goblins, the Maglabiot Gambit. Did I read this? Uh, goblin troops 
though uh, crude and a bit dim, are valuable because they are adaptable and can be fitted into a number of different military roles. Excelling as archery, skirmishers, and warg cavalry scouts. If rigorously drilled, some can function as dis disciplined blanksies armed with half pikes, and even the ones who can't be trained to march in step can serve as prime catapult fodder. The key to recruiting a tribe of goblins is their profound respect for their priests, who lead the tribe members in the worship of all-conquering Maglebiet. Therefore, let the high priests of the seven tribes of the southwest sword coast be invited to a grand council, a feast where they will be well fed, well flattered, and well lubricated with jugs of plonk laced with a mild paralytic. The priests will awaken with new guests in their crania and be led into docile de devotion to a new and greater god than Maglebiet, the Absolute. And trust me, where the priests go, their warriors will follow, advisor Balthazar. Balthazar is a very sinister and sick person. <laughs> Not that we didn't already know that, based on everything that is around. Okay. Um, cutting board. Let's look at all the bottle racks, just in case. Nothing. A telescope. Can I use this? I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. Yeah, I don't think you can use... See out that window, for sure. Uh, okay, there's this heavy chest. Let me go over here. And the clasped book was what? Um... I did read this. This is a log on the work of one of Balthazar's necromancers. Cressa Bone Daughter dated two ten days ago. Um... I'm just quickly skimming it to see if it has anything to do with the books and doesn't seem to. Nothing. Okay. There are so many bodies in here. Holy. Scary. Uh, oh, I can look in the viscera. For items, maybe. Severed pelvis, severed torso, okay. Um, surgery kit. Okay, I think I need. Actually. Have I looked at the corpse yet? A heart, specifically gold. Don't leave that there. Balthazar's apprentice. Also a heart, specifically. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have touch me. A Starian. A crooked touch. Lockpick this. Maybe notes number two are in there. Uh difficulty class 14. Okay, I'm gonna add guidance. Oh, a three! That's really bad. Uh, will I still make it? Yes, I will. That's funny. This isn't trapped? Ooh. Derivation cloak. Deadly derivation. When you poison a foe, heal yourself for 1d4 hit points. Oh. Based on a mad alchemist's experiments to derive youth from his victims by poisoning them, this cloak relies on a much more reliable arcane formula. Cool. Okay, so there's no notes to 
anywhere. We have another moon lantern, which I don't want to pick up quite yet. Okay, conventional medicine was bad. Galvanic interrogations. I feel like that might be the storm one. I don't know. Poisons and venoms, obviously not. Musty tomes. Oh no. I'm gonna save. Oh, something. There was a zero that popped up. Up, something got hit by something else. Um. Musty tomes. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Insert items. Insert what? Can I... <laughs> Something is getting hit. Uh, ancient altar. An altar? I can't examine this. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. What do I have in inventory? Uh, I don't want to get rid of that. Wait, is it? Um, is it gonna be a body part? Might be useful. Don't tell me she's gonna pick up the entire torso. I don't want that to happen. She might though. Yeah, she did. Oh no. A large maggot crawls out of a hole in the bloated abdomen. Lovely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it. Hold on. Slow down. Let's see what this does. Will that fit in there? Invalid combination. Okay. Drop that, please. Is it the heart? Because we've seen like three hearts. A human heart carefully cut from the chest. Coagulating blood slowly drips from an artery. Let's see. Because we are dealing with a sick bastard. It is. Oh my. Secrets of the Necromancer. Plus 60 experience. Nice. Okay. Is this a safe place to go in? Oh, you can see the scrape marks on the floor. That's cool. Lavish chair. Oh, torture chair. Lovely. What's what's in the pot? Nothing. Um goblet with dead tadpoles? What? Is that in the next room or something? And it's just uh Showing up. Okay. That is that. Opulent chest. Astarian will have to deal with that in a moment. Uh, research notes. I have redirected some materials from beneath the tower. I plan to simply raise what forces I need inside the ma mausoleum itself, but the general prefers that no more of his family crypts be disturbed. Even so, I may have no choice. The temple will not surrender the Night Song easily, and the general's invulnerability depends on it. Ooh. I'm sure he will forgive a little transgression if it frees the army to move on Baldur's Gate, at least. Ah. So it's the Night Song. 
that we're looking for. Is that gonna be a flower? Night song sounds like it would be the name of a flower or a plant. But I don't know. Um, no more of his family crypts be disturbed. Well, this night song sounds like the source of Ketherick's immortality. It does. Curious name. It sounds more like a bird than a font of power. Huh. <laughs> we find it we can use it against thorn perhaps perhaps we'll need to explore thoroughly i doubt ketherick leaves the means to his downfall out in the open true but if it's in the temple it's probably hidden away pretty good okay we've got a bunch of broken moon lanterns dead pixies ritual circle Goblet with dead tadpoles. Oh my, what is this? Hourglass with two skulls. Oh no. Okay, there's a ritual circle here. Can I examine this? Oh, I can use it. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, there's another hourglass with skulls, it looks like. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. Mm-hmm. They were already imbued with Netherese magic. So where did that magic come from? Are there any books? There's a dead pixie. Can I examine? Well, that's what you look like. Oh, has it been scalped? Oh, and the back has been cut open, it looks like. Oh, it's kind of... That's really sad. Even though the pixies are assholes. <laughs> um, okay. First, let's have a Starion... ...lockpick this. I hope it's not trapped. I don't think it is. No one's perceiving it to be. Twenty-two, lovely. All right, what's in here? Elixir of necrotic resistance and a cold brim hat. Um. Cold Brim Chill, once per turn, any condition inflicted on a target also applies two turns of Encrusted with Frost. What does that mean? Affected entity is disadvantaged on dexterity saving throws. When there are seven or more turns remaining, the entity must succeed a constitution saving throw or take one to four cold damage and become frozen. On a successful save, it only takes half damage after the first... Uh, the Frost sloughs away, removed by burning. Seven or more turns remaining? Huh. Okay. Take all. Uh, that seems to be... It, except for this thing. Ritual circle. Makes me nervous. A ritual circle. Looks like it was used in the crafting of moon lanterns. Okay. Can I do anything with it? A ritual circle. Looks like it was used in the crafting of moon lanterns. There's also this brazier. Oh, I turned that off. There's a pipe. Where does that pipe go? Nowhere, apparently. Okay. Um. I picked up a pixie. 
ritual circle. Looks like it was used in the crafting of Ming. Hmm. <laughs> Can I put it on the ritual circle? Does that do anything? A ritual circle. Looks like it was used in the crafting of moon lanterns. Apparently not. What do I do with this? Maybe I do nothing with it? There's no notes? Let me look at the research notes again. Uh, I've redir redirected some materials from beneath the tower. Plan to simply raise what forces I need inside the mausoleum itself, but the general prefers that no more of his family crypts be disturbed. Even so, I may have no choice. The temple will not surrender the night song easily, and the general's invulnerability depends on it. I'm sure he will forgive a little transgression. Okay, that says nothing about... Uh, this ritual circle. Am I missing something? Broken moon lantern. Maybe. Don't mind if I do. Maybe I need to grab one of these and inspect it or something. Examine. A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Its glass is cracked. Its metal bent beyond repair. Okay. Use. Object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Broken. And there's dust inside it. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at nothing. Um. Investigation. Inspect the lantern in more detail. Arcana. Examine the dust within the lantern. Ooh. Let's do an arcana check. Guidance. Good. Eleven. Which turns into twenty. This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. Uh, oh, I can also do an investigation check. I will do that as well. Still have guidance, yes. Good. 16. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Okay. So I know that... Can I pick up and use the pixie? No, I don't think so. Can I combine items? I also don't think so. Mm. Like it was used in the crafting of moon lanterns. I feel like I need to do something with this. There's another, it looks like another dead pixie on a plate. Do I grab another heart? Maybe, and put it on the circle? <laughs> I feel like I'm messing with forces I should not be, but Tav is a necromancer, so we might as well. Another step forward. Uh. 
Um. Here, can I put it here? Dropped one heart. Pick up the heart. Maybe I put the moon lantern here? No. Hmm. That book doesn't seem to have any hints. Uh, okay, let's look at the dead tadpoles. A goblet filled with the mutilated corpses of illithid parasites. Whatever ungodly experiments were performed on them likely killed them. I examine. Oh, gross! I can pick this up. <laughs> Maybe that goes on the circle. A blood-filled bowl. A seat that has seen many occupants, none of their own volition. And none in comfort. No, it does not seem to be the case. Okay, let's pick up these. Broken moon lantern catches your eye. Its glow now snuffed out. Okay. Um. How about the goblet? No. Okay, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, to be fair, I don't think these things are actually on. They're kind of floating, but that's okay. Uh, okay, let's put this back. Or not. Let's just drop these. Blood filled the bowl. Hmm. Can I look at the other moon lanterns? Broken moon lantern catches your eye. Its glow now snuffed out. Broken moon lantern catches your eye. It's glow now snuffed out. It's all the same. Okay, uh, maybe I need to pick up the other one. Now, uh, which is here. Maybe this pixie will say something of importance. Okay, I picked up a second one. Can I examine? Okay, let's equip this one. Does it say anything? Oh, I heard a weird noise. What happens if I bring it over here? A ritual circle. Looks like it was used in the crafting of moon lanterns. Oh, this altar design looks so cool. I like the skull kind of peeking out from there. Um. Okay, um... Can I unequip this? 
Where is Sorrow? Here. Re-equip. And can I... Not enough space? Hmm. Okay, never mind. Looks like it was used in the crafting of moon lanterns. Yeah. Oh, there's a Any bottle rack here. With nothing in it. Hmm. Okay. I don't have any kind of like dispel magic, do I? I think I asked this question before a long time ago for something else. And the answer was no. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so first of all, let's move some things. <laughs> like the well, the heart I can drop, I think. Let's drop that. Let's give a moon lantern to I think Shadow Heart should have one. Or have just have that in her inventory. Last book, let's move these books over. We're not encumbered anymore. Good. Okay. I think I need to do a short rest. A brief respite. And then. Oh, what's through here? Maybe a Starion should um, block pick this. Unless. Unless we have a key for this for some reason. I'll give it a shot. Let's test it first. Oh. Shared stash, Tavriel is taking Moonrise card's key from Astarian. Okay, no problem. Okay. We've got a scrying eye and a guard. Is this the place we're supposed to be? Probably not. Let's close that door then. <laughs> Light on my okay. Face. I think that's it in here. Let's move. Oh, what is this? A little gift? Marcus, I assume no explanation is needed for just how rare these appendages are, and I trust you shall make good use of them. You have a golden opportunity to please the general. Do not squander it. Access to the unwilling donor has proven difficult since the harvesting, but I am afforded the opportunity. I shall pass along your gratitude be. Hmm. Marcus, huh? Oh, there's a person here. Disciple Zarel. No word from Balthazar. Missive from Catharic. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. If I attempt to look at any of that, then I'm going to get in trouble. I need to be very careful. Because I don't necessarily want what happened in the dungeons to happen again. Beheading the bitter roots. What is this? The Grimforge region is an important choke point as it controls access to Moonrise Towers via the Underdark, but Grimforge is occupied by the Duragar Bitterroot Clan. Though not numerous, these Duragar are a band of tough combatants and would and could prove inconvenient obstacles should we need to move military assets quickly through the region. These Duragar must be neutralized. Accordingly, let a team of Orin's crack doppelganger assassins be assigned the task of killing King Guardon. The monarch of the Bitterroot clan. After the assassination, the team is to gather Gurudan's head and especially his crown before ensuring that both are hurled into the fathomless depths. The Bitterroots, unable to crown a new king, will fracture into quarreling subclans, the leaders of which can one by one be tadpoled. Disciples of Rel on the path of General Catharic. Orin's Crack Doppelganger Assassins. Interesting. Who's 
Orin. Cabinet. Nothing in there. Okay. Uh, this is out onto a balcony. Zealot Benel. There's a heavy chest here. Can I look at this without getting in trouble? Let's have a look. I can. Gold. Potion of healing. I definitely need that. Okay, nothing in the um, crates or trunks. Some torches. Okay, let's go through here. Carefully. <laughs> We're gonna look at all the things that aren't highlighted red. So that I don't get in trouble. Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, Volume 4, The Risen Road. Gonna be encumbered again soon. Uh, the stained wealth on pages filled with traveling advice that seems to be decades out of date. Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road. Running parallel to the river Shionthar, the Risen Road provides an overland route all the way from El Torel to Baldur's Gate and has been proven tempting to travelers seeking an alternate to the river barges that sail the Shionthar. A portion of the road approximately halfway between El Torel and Baldur's Gate has in recent years developed into an enclave for Saluna worship with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has developed alongside the temple and can provide food and shelter to weary travelers. Farther east lies the citadel of Moonrise Towers, where a toll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll. However, bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. Okay, that would be the toll house. Which we avoided pretty well, but I was thinking of going back there anyway. Um, okay, so there is a temple of Saluna to the west. Which may be very good to know. Scroll of Phantasmal Killer, which I already know. Leadership of the Zentarim. An exit from the ongoing metatext rebound by o Iosefa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the, reconstruct the metatext for God's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Despite their protestation to the contrary, it takes no keen eye to see echoes of Banite philosophy in modern Zentarim practice. A strict militaristic hierarchy where all power flows from the top. Who occupies that position today is the matter of some speculation, for the Black Network's leadership was thought destroyed along with their headquarters at Zentil Keep in 1383 DR. In the following decades, however, a new base of power began to consolidate at the Fortress of Darkhold, far to the south. At its center stands the Paraghost, an enigmatic armored figure to whom the Zentarim's rebirth is almost single-handedly attributed. Whoever their leader, it is clear that this new Zentarim have not abandoned plans for domination so much as recalculated their approach. Where once their focus was on the subversion and conquest of nations, the network of today is much more concerned with establishing their stra stranglehold on the market. A power which crosses borders that are closed to more conventional forces. Move all these books over. The bam. Uh, I also have to give Damon um, the infernal iron that we got. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna look at those. Let's keep going. 
Oh. Necromite. You guys chill? Glory of the Absolute. They look like they're prepared to attack. They were not allowed to go through there. I assume we can't go through there either. Okay, let's go down. Feathers and quills, rows of books. Taking the groves off the table, orcs of the Trialta Hills. What is this? The recent dismemberment of Agent Moss, True Soul 26, by Lord Herod's guards at the Ringfork Stronghold is a clear indication that our strategy for co-opting the orcs of the Trialta Hills needs to be adjusted. Sending a herald to talk was regarded as evidence of weakness, so we must assume an attitude of dominance in our next attempt. The true soul among us who best understands orcish customs is undoubtedly Sir Yax of Scornabel. He shall be sent, backed up by a pair of ogres, to deliver a direct personal challenge to Lord Herod, using as an excuse the dismemberment of Bob Moss. Yax is to defeat Herod and then force him to swear fealty to the Absolute. In return, we shall back Herod in the conquest and alliance of the other two tri Trialta tribes. Inform Sir Yax as soon as he returns from the Weirwoods. Disciple Zarel on the behalf of General Catharic. Taking the groves off the table. Oh my goodness, okay. Dictated to scribe Yanthus by General Catharic. Druids, meddling and meddlesome, I have a history with them that makes me wary of underestimating them. They will certainly not welcome the rise of the Absolute in their vicinity and could become significant obstacles if we don't find a way to take them out of play. I speak here, for starters, of the Emerald Grove and of the Cloakwood Circle. They cannot easily be defeated without a significant diversion of resources, but they can perhaps be neutralized from within. Druids, by their very nature, do not smile, Yanthus. Value the balance of natural forces over the welfare of humanity in general. And in the extreme, this is expressed by the faction historically known as the Shadow Druids, who favor complete separation of the circles from what they regard as the ills of civilization. We shall identify the current leaders of the Shadow Druids, cultivate them with gifts, while intimidating them with threats and encourage them to see that the wisest and most prudent course is for the druid circles to stand neutral as the army of the absolute marches on the blighted cities of the civilized. Disciple Zarel shall select an appropriate agent to par parley with the shadow druid leaders. Eventually all shall be infected with tadpoles. Huh, okay. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. Can I take this? map of Baldur's Gate depicting upper city, lower city, and outer city as far as Worms Crossing as well as Great Harbor and the near course of the Shianthar. Can I take it? Alrighty. Um, do these stairs- I think those stairs just go up the other way. So that's fine. Dren. Can I loot it without getting in trouble? Oh, I just- they just have a short bow. Um, okay, where am I going? Cover the gnome's escape. Which I definitely need to see what they are up to before I leave. Um, okay, we've got the Mason's... Guild, uh... That's Damon. Yeah, the mausoleum is Shar's temple, it looks like. Okay. So let me see. What is this? Can I go through here? Oh, 
hello. <laughs> um. Elgrim's soul. Rustic chest that I'm not allowed to open. What? Did I just hear a cat? Ah! Hello? Steel claw. I'm gonna take a potion. <laughs> I have something to ask. Can I talk to you? Do you know what's happening here? These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. Are you not also hairless? Just saying. Uh, sorry, your name is Steel Claw. Slithering vermin, they're called tadpoles. Murder every single one you find. The parasites are dangerous. Don't go near them. Your name is Steel Claw? It is a name I earned through bloodshed and death. Unfortunately, the more ignorant here refuse to use it. <laughs> fluffers, they call me. Idiots. Oh, they call you Fluffers. Uh, Slithering Vermin, they're called Tadpoles. Their name matters not. Merely their demise. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many, and will butcher many more. But this one, this one I toy with. I slice, I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards. So intense. But that's okay. You know that tadpole is dead, right? You're a little bit intense. Yeah, no kidding. Good luck with the hunt, Steel Claw. How boring, surely you can be a bit more creative. Uh, good luck. Luck is not needed. Merely patience and a thirst for blood. Hunt fast and hunt well. Okay. Is that what that is? Mind Flayer Tadpole. Why is it so large? Ah. Oh. Why is it so large? Still Quiet, claw. Lest I miss its cries for mercy. Oh, okay, we can't talk to you anymore. That's fine. Oh, there's a path over here as well. Perhaps. What is this way? Um, it looks like there's a platform above. This is the that's on that map. Cracked wall. Examine. Uh, vulnerable to force damage. Has piercing resistance. Huh. Looks like I could possibly also go up. But maybe not. Too high. No. Okay. Um, Lazel. Can we bust this open? Oh, that did nothing. Hmm. Wow, it's really sturdy. Okay, so I have to use a magic missile. So let's get rid of Scorching Ray for now. This is going to use up my spell slots, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, ten. I think I also have a couple of arcane cultivations, so I could... Use that up. Wooden chest. What do we have? 67 gold, emerald ring that I don't want, elixir of bloodlust. 
Uh, drink to enter a bloodlust once per turn. When you kill a foe, you gain five temporary hit points and an additional action replaces effects from other elixirs. Okay, that might be good for Astarian to take actually. Lightning resistance and skillful movement. Your movement speed can't be reduced by difficult terrain or spells. You can't be paralyzed or restrained. Okay, I will take all of these as well. What else is in here? Anything? One day I'll catch a break. No, that's it. Okay. Here we go. Can I go through here without being attacked? Oh, hi. Come on. We told you there's nothing there. Mig. Um stone bloody Have a taste if you don't believe us. Meg here's meat. Oh, well, this also looks like potentially a way to maneuver around. Maybe not. That looks like a lot of ruins, but um Can I talk to you? Something's on my mind. <laughs> Meat sounds above. Here. Meat sounds above. For a moment, you do hear it. Flesh sliding on stone. Like a living being extending through the walls. Oh, gross. Something in the walls? What is it? I think you might just be hearing things. Leave. Oh no, what is it? Pig! In walls above! Maybe. Whole tower. Lodis near kitchen. But Mig banned. Not allowed to pet gnolls. Oh, there's gnolls in the kitchen. You find meat? You share. Okay. <laughs> sure. Where's the kitchens? Uh oh, shabby wardrobe. Can I have a look see? Uh well, that's just all regular clothes. Cabinet. Wicker chest. Don't mind me. I'm just snooping. Uh, warg fang. Ochre jelly slime. Okay, take all of those. Can I have a word? Don't mind Mig and her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. If you say so. Uh, none of those notes. I can look at. Uh, ooh, no, it doesn't look like I can go that way at all. What's through here? Uh, okay, I think this is just the way back down. I was in here before. Briefly. Oh, is there something else over here? Hold on. And the dreams came. Can I go through it this way? Can I open this door without being uh thwarted? Is this the kitchen? Dried pork sar sausage. Perception fail. Salami. Sweet potato. <laughs> uh, I think I'm encumbered at this point, yeah. 
there's something... Oh, hello. Barnabas. Okay, she failed a perception check? Why? Um... Move a couple of things. Let's give the elixir of bloodlust over. That should be enough. No, it's not. Mm. Maybe if I do some alchemy stuff, we'll get rid of. something? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, what can I get rid of? I can get rid of some torches. Okay, that's a little better. Antidote, grease bottle. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, failed a perception check, huh? Oh! But they didn't. Mucus. Use? Oh no. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Yeah. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Okay, so I have to go... <laughs> up. Potentially. Um, okay, this is the way I was before. Are these the kitchens? Dominated Will. Lincella. You controlling these wargs? A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. <laughs> Aww. Now, how can I help you? Uh, Barnabas? I've never seen a tame knoll before. <laughs> Barnabas? I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. Okay. By mind controlling them. Gnolls are beasts, plain and simple. I thought the Absolute accepted us all as we are. You're at, you've actually stood before the Absolute? Heart heartwarming. Praise her name. Oh, I feel like I can't talk today. Um, I thought the Absolute accepted us. All as we are. She gathers many threads for her design, but it is still her design. And Barnabas has found his place in it. Observe. Barnabas, sweetie, come show what a good boy you are. Uh oh. Are we gonna get attacked? What would you like him to do? Oh. You decide. How about a dance? Nothing. Keep your sick games to yourself. Hmm. I would have her do number three, but we need to keep on people's good side for now. Um, how about a dance? Because I feel like if we do, you decide. She's gonna have... Some kill something. How about a dance? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Barnabas? You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. Aww. Oh, I did not like it. No, Barnabas. Oh. 
about this? Huh, it, um, used its will to, uh, <laughs> to fight the brainwashing. Uh, wisdom, sever her control once and for all. Reinforce her efforts with your own. It seems you're not as commanding as you think. Huh. If I do sever her control, is she gonna notice? Let's do this number three, since you're not as commanding as you think. They battle silently for a long moment, the Knoll's heart drumming with strain. Then all at once, his heart stops. Aww. <laughs> Oh, Barnabas. I'm so sorry, my darling. Oh, he isn't the first to die. Her love is simply too much for some. I hope you will fare better when your time comes. No thanks. How do I get to meet the Absolute? You almost make this audience sound dangerous. Leave. How do I get to meet the Absolute? Please, Sorrel. And you will be called to ascend to the tower top. Many have gone before you, though not all have returned. Great. The absolute has given you a second chance, loves. Okay. Uh, we are now in the kitchen. There's all this food that we can't take. Um. There's a door here, maybe? Hmm. What's through here, first of all? Okay, we have a balcony. And grab some camp supplies. Nothing there. Oh, steel claw. What happened? Quiet. Is she sleeping? Lest I miss its cries for mercy. Okay. <laughs> She's fine. Uh, all right. So that's all the way back around. So through here. Uh, oh, I could maybe... No, I can't. I thought that would be a balcony wrapping around, but it's just the lower floor doing... showing that. Okay, how about this door? Many heads, many voices. Oh, the goals. Um... Is there a way further up? I don't know. Okay, well, something is slinking around here, apparently. Let's just maybe do some rounds and see. Stuffed deep Rothe head. Tamelia. Hmm. No perception checks. Timothy. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to wait. What is this on the map? Suspicious sounds. That's here? It's for from the mucus. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Hmm. Maybe I have to ooh. I can see it kind of. 
Maybe I have to like burn it away or something at some point. Uh, can't do that right now. Let me see, do I have an arcane cultivation? Mm, not in Tav's inventory, but... There should be one in someone's inventory. That's Hill Giant. Um, Superior Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Okay, do I have another one? And a level one. Nice. Okay. We've got that. Now I need to see... I need to make my way back down. This is the front entrance. Where do you hail from? Uh I was a farrier in Disarin Valley. Sit through here. And the dreams came. Yes it is. Okay. Let's backtrack and uh see how the gnomes and tieflings are faring. There we go. Had to click on the stairs. Okay, they're here, right? Now, on the map. Are they still there? Have you slept at all? Have you? Fair point. The tieflings are? Uh oh. Uh oh, is that not the right one? Uh oh. Uh. Maybe they are here? They're just not spawned in yet? Stone. Okay, they are here. Hollow behind the back wall and beyond. Water. I'd bet my last copper there's a pier nearby. This could be our chance, sir. Okay, can I have a word first? Good work. We're gonna wait until it's quiet, and then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. Okay. Uh, hold. <laughs> until I return, please. Hurry, or we're all dead. Uh, okay, so it looks like they're going to stay there. So I can do a long rest without having to worry too much. Um, there is a hole. There's a stash here, it looks like. I can see that wall uh, leads to somewhere else on the map. Um, maybe there's something in one of the other cells as well? Maybe I can inspect some other cells. This one doesn't look like it has anything. Um, oh. What about this one? Is there anything in here? No, doesn't look like it. What about around... I could try going up here before. Ah, uh, there is a tunnel of sorts. But I think it was too high. Ah, huh, okay. Oh. There's flashy tendrils everywhere. Um, okay. So how do I get here? I couldn't miss these steps.
Um, hold. Can everyone else... No one can get up here because it's too high. Except maybe Lazelle. Okay, let's do... Toggle off the group mode. Let's get Lazelle up here. I'm just gonna control her for a second. So I know it's up here. Maybe there's a way in. From outside. Ooh, survival failed. Okay, let's not go too close over there. Also lots of skulls, which is unnerving. And jump across here. Okay, so there's the wall. Oh, there is a boat. A sloop. Okay. How would one get through here? Another survival fail. Something is right to her left. Potentially an entrance, or also potentially something else. Okay, so there's a wall here. Hmm. There's no entrance this way. Where does this pier lead to? This is like in the cave. Huh, okay. Well, they shouldn't do anything until we come back. So we'll probably leave um leave moonrise towers take a look at the shadow uh the locations in the shadow curse lands that i skipped uh can she jump down here without being prone doesn't look like it uh okay let's do group mode again and these things have stayed interesting how much farther can i go Okay, so it looks like to follow them, I'm going to have to open their cell once they break open the wall, I think. Have you slept at all? Have That's what it seems like I have to do. Um, unless... I can scout along the outside wall to find an entrance, but I don't think there will be one. Uh, okay. These are the doors to leave. Yes, they are. Okay. Um... I wonder. There's gotta be a cave entrance somewhere then, huh? One would think. I think I have to go all the way to the front to check out around the tower more. Uh, oh, target's too far. I gotta inch up forward a little bit more. And here we go. Ooh, okay, I forgot about that. Um, Shadowheart. 
I'm gonna have her carry a moon lantern. Which is where? Is it still in Tav's inventory, maybe? Uh, we've got one. Where did the other one go? Oh, here it is. On I go. Nice. Okay. Exit turn base. So we should be good with just the one. Uh, let's have Tav. Okay. Now where do I want to go? We know where Moonrise is. Most things are explored. Um, I could go over to the left real quick. See if there's a cave entrance at all. Uh, for the Goblin and Tiefling escape. There's also this toll house. So I'm going to look at the toll house and the wanting moon and slowly make my way up to the House of Healing and the Mausoleum. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into uh, the Temple of Shar today. That might be for next time. Depending on uh, how much there is to explore. But, okay, I need to do a long rest first. Because we've got no spell slots left. Hopefully the gnomes and tea things will be fine. <laughs> In the meantime. Uh, okay, does anyone have... Oh, someone has something important to say. Gail! Seems like a good how are you? Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. What? That's a little creepy. I don't like the I don't like the glow <laughs> and the echoing noise uh, voice. Um That's what mirror image looks like. Okay, good to know. Uh, behalf of Gale Waterdeep, invitation to a private conversation in a more suitable locale, which is where? Very well, show me the way. On behalf of Gale, you're not Gale. Later, perhaps, not interested. I mean, I'm pretty sure we know it's a mirror image, but, um, okay, show me the way. Simply follow yonder path, and soon you will find it. Yonder path. Uh, auto select partial rest. Is he going to visit in a dream? Oh, I see. Auto select full rest. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to do that in a second. Does anyone have anything else? Is everybody good? Uh, oh, Vala was all the way down here. And Halson. Uh, let me go over here since it's not showing up. Okay. Let's see. Go to bed, I suppose. Um, auto select, full rest. I'm gonna have a cutscene. Whatcha doing, Gail? What is going on? I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The 
cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. The most beautiful of fantasies. Okay. <laughs> Didn't we reject him already? Um, it's breathtaking, Gail. Is a starry sky you're doing? You seem especially philosophical this evening. Are you alright? Why did you summon me here? I'm afraid all of this is just a fantasy. Are you okay? I will be. Soon. I am perhaps just one hard day away from being without any troubles at all. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Okay. Mm We're not gonna let him die. If I can help it. Um, is this truly what you want to die for the promise of mistress forgiveness? It's a heavy burn, yes, but one you're able for. Think of the good your sacrifice will do. You speak as if this affects you alone. How many will die if you unleash what's inside you? Are you not afraid? I refuse to believe this is the end. We'll find another way, I promise. Um... Number three has a good point. Um, how many... What's the scale of the damage that will happen? If that happens. Um, but I'm gonna stick with number five. We'll find another way. Thank you. But even if we do find another way, perhaps this is the right way. The end fate wishes for me. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. Nothing is inevitable, not when we face it together. You don't have to die. You sound sure in your course of action, then. You're right, at least this way you might take the absolute down with you. Why are you so sure it's inevitable? We haven't even found this heart of the absolute yet. Um. Oh, I like both one and four. I'm going to go with number one. Nothing is inevitable. Yes. But there is so much to live for, and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our <laughs> friends, our adventures. <laughs> this would have been so much easier if it was just me. But it isn't. No, it's not. There's a way, anyway, to save all that's grown dear to me. I want to seize it. I just cannot fathom what that might be, other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone, either. Ah, You don't have to be alone. Stay with him and watch the stars in silence. I'd rather not listen to you wallowing in self-pity. Good night, Gail. No! It's so mean. I'll stay with him and watch the stars. Poor guy. All right. I have a full rest. Did Astarian have... He was touching his fingertips there. In his sleep. Uh, oh, Gale. Has more to say again. Uh, let me just check. Nobody else has anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay, are you feeling a little bit better? I was hoping to speak to you, as a matter of fact. 
about the night you were kind enough to keep this melancholy wizard company. No problem. Uh, go on. Not just now, there's something else we need to speak about. Do we have something else to speak about? Um, go on. I wanted to... to thank you. I was sinking into a dark place. But you reminded me there is still light in the world, if I should care to look for it. You... You may well have prevented me from doing something very rash in the near future. I count myself lucky to call you a friend. Oh, damn, he's gonna make me cry. Anytime, Gail. I just don't want to be collateral damage. The feeling is mutual. Aww. The feeling is mutual. I'm glad to hear it. And I intend to prove myself worthy of the sentiment. Um, the night song sounded useful. Could it save you from the orb's detonation? Is Mistra always such a demanding goddess? How are you feeling? It can't be easy facing the possibility of death. Join me, why don't you? There's plenty of adventure to be had. Um, do you know anything about the night song? Alas, no. The charm Elminster granted me requires my death as the spark that will light the orb's fuse. Making myself invulnerable, immortal, or in any other fashion unkillable would... Render it useless. And gods only know what it might do to the orb itself. Still, I see no harm in learning what we can about this night song. And if we manage to find it, the harm will be all Ketherix. So, well worth indulging our curiosity. Okay. Um, is Mr. Always such a demanding goddess? He expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Mm, are we sure about that? Uh, how are you feeling? Oh, you know me, ever the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. You weren't a minute ago, Truth but okay. I'm living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. Okay, I think that dialogue was supposed to happen before that cutscene, but that's okay. Uh, let's leave. Okay, I think we are good here. Um... I was just thinking maybe I need to switch some spells around, but I think I'm okay for now. So let's leave camp. If I need to switch something, then I can do that at any time. Okay, uh, right, from here. First of all, okay, Shadowheart is holding the Moon Lantern. That's good. Can we make our way around? And see if there's a cave entrance. At all. Looks like I have to go around this way. Uh oh. That might be worth a look. Ooh! Yes, it may very well be. Can I? Oh, she's... There we go. Digging from so far away. Uh, wooden chest, open, thank you. Arrow of ice and 19 gold. Uh, yeah, I will take this and then quickly move it over. To... Let's go with Astarian. Okay. Um, do I have much map from... Where am I? Over to the left. There is supposedly somewhere a Temple of Saluna to the west. Don't know how far this map goes. Which would be very interesting. Um...
Okay, uh, okay, maybe I go to the Wanting Moon first instead. Since I'm over here. Which I think is an inn. At least it sounds like it would be. Just go around the outskirts first. Shadow root sack. I'll take that. Give me. Uh oh, what is all this? Distillation or I don't know what kind of equipment this would be for. A pitcher of beer. Uh oh, these rocks almost look like they would be scalable. But maybe not. Let's take a look at these barrels first. Uh, torch. Water, sure. Nothing there. Okay. Can I jump? No, doesn't appear to be the case. Okay. No problem. Let's see what's in here. Oh, heavy creaks. Um, okay, someone's coming. Mugwort, autumn crocus, dagger root, wispweed. I need all of these for ingredients. Take all. What is that? Blighted actor. Oh, is this a theater? Oh my goodness, what are you? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, an onyx. Okay, thank you. Can I look at this chest? Uh, camp supplies, potion of angelic slumber, on potions and elixirs, gold. I'm gonna take all of this and I'm now encumbered. Um. Move some stuff. Uh, hold. Okay. Let me quickly. Alchemy. What can I make right now? Salts, extract, need to get rid of all of these first, or not, mmm. Don't have enough stuff for the potions of healing, which sucks for me, because <laughs> I desperately need those. Okay, that's fine. Uh, not encumbered? Okay, good. Oh no, Thizabald Thorm. Wretched distiller. You have a lot of health. Can I, uh, sneak up the stairs? Please? <laughs> Oh, more, more alchemical ingredients. Thank you. Shadow root sack. I don't know if I can reach that. Maybe I can. Oh, just barely. Uh, ooh, that's all rotten. Fire wine barrel. Ooh. I could use that to my advantage. Will be done. I pick will up, take please. Pick. Let's move. Lazel's so strong. Mind my step. And carry all the barrels. Um, okay. Ban list. Barred from entry. The following ex customers are unwelcome. Do not let them in, even should they beg. Especially should they beg. Martin Dottie, human? Question mark. Chug and run. Adam Smith, 
uh, lascivious behavior, also known as the pickle incident. What is the pickle incident? I want to know and I don't want to know. Uh, Garen Goth Thorm, she knows what she did. <laughs> Cavan Ort, tall dwarf, exceedingly boring. Syra B, short, half elf, vomited on the waiter, purposefully. Unknown elf, pale skin, snide mouth, referring to Master Distiller as the orkine publican. Rochelle Quark, halfling, groin punching. <laughs> Jan von Don, suspected alias, a grotesquely tall human underpants on head. This is a very interesting uh, picture of characters. Um. Okay. Not gonna grab the wine quite yet more camp supplies just because she gets encumbered all the time. Oh, there's another being here. Uh, but they are a little neutral, so maybe... <laughs> maybe we can just uh, explore without having any troubles. Uh, what does the plaque say? Halflings and gnomes order here. Oh, it's a smaller... It's a smaller bar. Okay, pain spree. Gather your pack, capture a gnome. One by one, your chums gloat how to best maim the gnome in alphabet iacal order, starting with A. Coming up short, take a drink. Last chum standing gets to kill the gnome. This is cruel. Okay, example, arrow to the bollocks. Break its shins, club its head with the broken shins. Oh no. Stoned. Get a stone, invade an inn, kill everyone there. Go ten tankers with ale, arrange them in a triangle on each side of a table. Long ways, you fool. Or arrange them first and then fill them, I don't care. Put half your chums at one side, half at the other. Take turns throwing the stone at the opposite tankards. Get it in, drink it dry, 10 empty cups, your team loses. Winning team gets to yank a single claw of their choice out of the loser's feet. Deal a drink, attack a village with your pack, keep killing till a chum loots a deck of cards. Choose a dealer, I don't care how, shortest tail, ugliest feet, something like that. Chum on the right gets two chances to guess the card on top and dealer chum says if it's higher or lower. Dealer chum chugs twice if the first try is right, and chugs once if the second try is right. If the guest chum fails, they chug the difference between the final guess and the cards. If your last guess is a four and the card is a nine, you take five chugs. It's basic math- <laughs> mathematics. New chum dealer when the last one fools. Two guest chums, last one standing torches the village. Wow, okay. Uh, ooh, there's a wicker chest here. Potion of mind reading, potion of gaseous form, potion of flying. Uh, I have so many potions that I don't... I don't need. I have too many potions that I haven't been using. Um... Okay, what happens if I open this door? What's through here? Uh, oh, that's just an entrance. Another entrance in. Okay, do I talk to this, um, distiller person? Or do I go on the offensive right away? Let's take a look over here first. Blighted patron. Uh, anything over there? There's another fire wine barrel noted. Okay, let's uh say hello.
This won't go wrong, surely. Oh, we're going up to the bar. Hi, oh my word. Oh boy. Oh, you have a mask on. Okay, um, that, whatever concoction that is, looks deadly, potentially. Um, what in all nine hells are you? What is it that you're serving? I already drank some wine earlier, thank you. What are you serving? Only the best, oblivion and beyond. Oh, what? Can I do it like a corpse and smells worse? Did the curse do this? Maybe. Can I do like an arcana check? Um, pick up the tankard. No, I will not drink attack. Oh no. I'm not gonna attack. If I pick it up, is she gonna drink it? Or can I inspect it? I'm gonna pick it up. Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. He looks hmm. sick at burst, and will probably be left hip deep in his juices. Go on, drink. Make it drink. Be drunk. <laughs> oh no. Okay, saving throw. Drink with the brewer. Sleight of hand. Mime drinking. No, I will not drink. Attack. Oh, okay. Saving throw. And we have advantage for a saving throw. Sleight of hand. I didn't know I could do this. I didn't know I could highlight and actually see what my odds were. Well, that's good to know now, I suppose. Um, okay. Sleight of hand, dexterity, plus one from dexterity, plus three from gloves of dexterity. This is... plus two from constitution. I could also do guidance from Shadowheart. <laughs> I'm... Thinking I'm gonna risk it. I'm nervous. This could kill her. Let's do a saving throw. Drink with the brewer. I have advantage. Um, okay. Guidance? Oh, that's not guidance. This is resistance? Make a target more resistant to spell effects and conditions. Oh, it receives a 1d4 bonus to saving throws for 10 turns or bless. Uh, I think this just does the same thing. Plus up to four creatures, they gain a plus 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Mm. This one's a cantrip, so I'll do that one instead. Okay, here we go! Thank fuck! <laughs> <laughs> 21, good. Okay. Oh, they all approve. That's interesting. The liquid burns your throat as you swallow. But oh, it glows. No Ill effects. Okay, awesome. What does that mean? Oh. 
Oh, he's gonna try to have us drink again? Uh oh. Hmm. Now tell me a story. A fable. A saga. Delight me. Delight you. Okay. These are all performance checks. What's her charisma? She doesn't have very good charisma. It's plus one. Um, okay. From aboard a mind flayer vessel, I've witnessed the hells themselves. I gaze on nature's bounties in a verdant grove of druids. I've seen the goblins' vile rituals with my own eyes. A silver-tongued devil bade me feast in his lavishly appointed banquet hall. I ascended a great tower infused with the most powerful of magic. I explored a lost fortress buried deep in the Underdark's bowels. No, I will not share any stories. Uh, let's start from the top. Let's talk about the... Mind Flayer vessel. That's interesting enough, no? Oh, shit. Difficulty class 21. Now I need guidance. Oh, do I do friends as well? In higher difficulty modes, the target might accuse you of enchanting them. This is true. Uh... This is going to be a hard roll. But... I kind of feel like risking it. We're gonna do guidance plus friends. Oh no. Okay, 16. Oh! I actually did it. Holy. Okay. Just barely. Sympathy. You ask, you drink, then you amaze and fuse a stone me again. Okay. Okay, so I can ask questions, then I have to drink. Then I have to tell a story again, so I'm gonna have to do saving throws. No, I will not drink. Attack. Uh, who placed the curse on this land? How did you become what you are now? Saving throw, do as he says, drink. Sleight of hand, mime a sip of your drink. Who... Uh, who placed the curse on this land? I mean, I assume it's Catheric Thorm. But maybe not. Uh, we need to find the spirit of the land. Which is gonna be somewhere, I have no idea. Um, who placed the curse on the land? Father, created. Okay, Father, I figured. Figured as much. Toss it down, lab it up. Oh no. Um Sleight of hand at this point. Nah, let's just do a saving throw again. <laughs> oh, I'm a glutton for punishment. Okay, uh let's do resistance again for cantrip. Ooh, not as good. Shit. Okay. I could roll again. Yeah. Ooh, even worse. No. Oh. 
roll again. I may be flying too high, too close to the sun. Oh no. Oh, okay. 14. Thank you. Your belly rumbles as the vile brew fills it. Yet your mind remains miraculously steady. Not for three times. Three tries. More okay. Tell me a false fell. Villains vanquished. Beast bastard. Okay, I ripped apart winged imps spawned from the fires of Avernus. An owlbear mother launched at me a slaughtered in reply. That never happened. I conquered infamous hobgoblin drawer Ragslin and his minions. That did happen? Question mark? Uh, I slayed a hideous postural ridden hag. She died a gruesome death. A bullet made me its prey, but proved no match for me. A towering creature rose from molten lava. I felled it with great wit and might. That also happened. <laughs> I bested an inquisitor, a dreaded champion of the Lich Queen of Lagath. Let's go with the golem. Uh, can we add more bonuses? Let's add guidance as well. Friends is still in effect. That's good. Okay, here we go. Seventeen, just barely. Uh, the difficulty class went down, which is interesting. Not the latrine. Ask question, make your query, and drink once more. <sighs> once more? That's like that's the last time. Or will I keep going? How do the thorns sustain the shadows? That's a more important question than asking how to become what you are now, I think. How do the thorns sustain the shadows? The spirit of the land. Yes. Where is it? Oh. You didn't say where it was. Huh. <laughs> Oh boy, drink one more time. Difficulty class 18. Can I add bless as well? No, it's one or the other. Let's stick with the cantrips. Okay, here we go. Oh, not good. So close. So close. I'm gonna use all my inspirations for this. I'm gonna roll one more time. Ooh, good. Better, much better. Ha, ah, I feel like I'm sweating. Looks like she is sweating too, <laughs> to have. Each swig is as painful as the last, but you remain in otherwise sound mind and body. I, I know you. Oh. I knew. I know. I am knowing. You are knowing. Oh? You want father's personal mysterious secret. 
sacred. No, not never. Father sent orders commanding. Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh. Cage. Cage. Who is Cage? Explode. Oh boy. Um. Okay. I got an inspiration. Did he just explode? Nice. <laughs> I didn't have to fight him then. Fresh distiller. Okay. No traps, please. That happened. Finally. Worn key. Thirty-three gold. Lots of wine and beer. Uh, swarming toadstool, bone cap, venomous fang, a wyvern stinger. Okay, take all, everything. Well, that happened. Okay, so he was a quote-unquote child of Catharic Thorm. It would seem. Uh, okay, I need to move some... Oh, I don't want to get rid of this. This is the Envoy's amulet. This is from the Myconids. Oh, and that's also the Sentient amulet, so I don't want to get rid of that either. Um, okay, can I... Move some different things, though. Get rid of some potions that I don't need. At least presently. Ever seeing I um Ooh, the scroll of cloud kill. Interesting. Hold on. What uh Oh, level five. Okay. Good to know. I wonder what, um, level I have to be to get level 5 spells. Probably, that's probably a ways off. We just got level 4. Not too long ago. Okay. Rat bat. There's also a loose plank. Rat bat. What is this? Rat catcher. Attack rolls against beasts have advantage. Interesting. I'm. It's 190 gold, but I'm not going to pick that up. Madeline's ledger. Oh. Is this who's in a cage? This book is redolent with the enticing smell of paper and ink. What does it say? The words for the attention of Dark Justice Seer Natasha are written across the top of every page. This is an excerpt from the last page. Morning, day 15. Um... Simon? Or Zimmin? Nowak? Said Catharic wouldn't hold onto Moonrise Towers for long at this rate. Ooh. Evening, day 18, Amani Atakni claimed it was unfair that the Thorms had the cushiest jobs. Night, day 22, Mark Jacobs, Benjamin Blanchette made jokes about the Thorms, especially Lord Catharic. Said he was a misery guts, a weeping nutsack, and discussed exactly how his wife would have liked it. 
Oh, okay. I know what Mark and Ben said was just plain awful, Lady Natasha, but they're some of my best friends, and I've never heard such talk out of them. They were upset over their wages being cut and were the drunkest I'd ever seen by midnight. I know it looks bad, but hand over heart, you've never met two gents more devoted to Our Lady, I swear it. A different, more elegant script appears beneath it. Our Lady of Loss would be proud of you, Madeline. Do not worry about Mark and Benjamin. Myself and your two gents are simply going to have a little chat, I promise. Ah. Uh. Interesting. What do I do with that info? Okay, Thorms, plural. How many... How many Thorms are there? Um, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Metal door. Can I unlock this? Now that I have a key? Yeah! Oh, what's back here? Secret things. Okay. Research notes. Dagger root. The wanting moon consignments. Wooden chest. Let's take a little read. What's this? Oh, this is a cutscene. Research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distiller Thizzable Thorm sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Thizzable devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. Is that what After she drank? experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thizzabald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thizzabald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Hmm. Okay. We could potentially find some... in the graveyard. But, investigation. Focus your eyes on the page. Mentally separate the blank ink from the purple stain. Guidance, please. Eleven. Perfect. Your mind separates the black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals awesome. the package contains, you might create Isabel's purple worm poison. Do I want to? I mean, I will. Uh, recipe unlocked as about brewed up belly glummer. That's an interesting name. Uh, is it going to be here? Yes, alchemical stash. Nice. Okay. Um, let me think. Uh, where do I want to go to next? I want to go to the toll house. The Mason's Guild, I already... I'm pretty sure I looked at pretty thoroughly. So House of Healing will be last, because then that's on the way to the mausoleum. Okay. Nice. Is there... what else? What else is in here? Uh, Dagger Root. There's some chests. Elixir of Poison Resistance. Sure. Noted. Uh, serpentine fang toxin, drow poison. The wanting moon consignments. The wanting moon deliveries are recorded here in a careful hand. The rear pages, however, are devoted to the distiller's personal reflections. Ten Tarsak. Father Catharic's reach begins to extend beyond Wraithwind's borders. The Thorms are but collectors, collectors of coin glory, blood, and more yet. 
I, however, collected that which holds the most value information. The mason caught my eye. Straight are his steps and faithful are his words, for as long as strength does not touch his tongue. Two drops of Blackfire whiskey and he sings his heart's true tune. He calls father a tyrant, a coward, a traitor. He beseeches the moon maiden to shine upon him once more. Dangerous words. I have told father he will surely silence the mason and make him an example. Meanwhile, the mason draws his heresy. It is all I can do not to mock him to his very face. Six flame rule. My own methods used against me. The ale she fed me was poisoned and by my own hand. My truth serum was all too effective. I professed the lot, the poisoned drinks, Malice's treatments, the interrogations, all of it. She means to reveal our schemes to the Baldur's Gate authorities. Unless, of course, I grace her palms with more gold than Garen Goth could muster. Father would have my head if he knew, or worse yet, donate me to Malice. Such is my good fortune that I possess all manner of barrels. She should make a perfect fit. 23. Elliant. The Harpers came too close. They poisoned Father Catharic himself, yet he professes no ill effects. Malice insists it a fluke. Doctor he may be, but he is no less a fool for it. Father has achieved that of which I can only dream, immortality. I have long suspected I can guess Father's purpose, but I cannot fathom the means. Okay. It sounds like there's... Uh, were four quote unquote children of Thorms. We just dealt with the distiller, uh, the toll house. I read, I know I read something about a um, someone paying a toll, and I saw something very, very golden walking around when I was there before. Um, the mason is dead, I think, already, and <laughs> and then last time to kind of walked into a demented doctor of sorts. Uh, so we need to look at what's up with that. Um, okay, wooden chest. This is locked. Do I have a key for it? I do not. Uh, is there anything else just before I try unlocking? Oh, there's a heavy chest over here as well. What's hiding here? Uh, potatoes, sure. Mm, okay, those are rotten. All right. Um, a starion. Simple. Okay, let's unlock this one first. Guidance as always. Fifteen, lovely. Twenty-seven total. What do we have in here? Icarus gloves. Icarus corrosion. When the wearer deals acid damage, they also inflict noxious fumes upon the target. Oh, we need these. Let's just take all of them. Astarian can hold on to that for now. Okay, uh, let's unlock this one. There may also be something over there. Not sure. We still have guidance. Yes, we do. 14. Total of 25. And this contains on serpent venom toxin, punch drunk bastard, one to eight bludgeoning, tippler's rage. While you are drunk, you have advantage on attack rolls. You also create a blast with each attack, dealing one to four thunder damage for three meters. Okay, I don't know how I would have a companion be drunk, but I'll take it for the gold regardless. Uh, okay, where's this book? On oh, Serpent Venom Toxin? 
Would you like to know something interesting? If you mix suspension of venomous fang with vitriol of Loth's candle, any vitriol will do. Out comes a poison, drip, drip, drip. When in doubt with alchemy, when in need of ecstasy, when my throat clicks with scream, drip, drip, drip is what I dream. It did not work. The platinum scale plan did not work and I hurt so badly. Recipe unlocked. Um, okay. Does this share um, the alchemy? Inventory. <laughs> um, what is the rogue's morsel? Is what I just picked up. Maybe it doesn't. Um, Where does it normally say Rogue's Morsel? That's Bone Cap. Hold on. These are all specific ingredients. Um, can do that one. Unless, does it just do, uh, rogue's morsel? Oh, it's a salt. There it is. One available. Okay. Uh, okay, let's disarm this. Guidance. A one? Oh no! Well, that hasn't happened in a while. Roll again. Oh no. Good thing I have inspirations. Oof. Lockpick. Um, oh, difficulty class is five. Well, okay, good thing I still have all the bonuses. That was a bad roll, too. Okay, what do we have here? Let's be quick. Oh, there's so many alchemical ingredients. This is great. Tongue of Madness. Not a lot of things that I need, necessarily. Leaf moss. Yellow musk creeper petals. Just do all of the ones that I have. Okay. Still breathing, despite everything. That should be good. I have to keep going. Now, what's in here? Something over there. Ah, another chest. Hundred sixty nine gold and a silver goblet. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. I think that's everything. Or at least it seems to be. Unless I can inspect well let's get these shadow root sacks first. Uh, 
Uh, let's go through this way. Why not? Down at the bottom here. Um, okay. I want to go... to the toll house. Oh! Oh, there's another dirt mound. What's in here? A Nothic eye. Venomous fang, hyena ear. Okay, I'm taking everything as well. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this way is to Moonrise Towers. Then let's look at the signpost. North, North Rythwin, East Rythwin Toll House, South Moonrise Towers, West the Waning Moon. Right. Okay, so this is this is the toll house. I'm gonna be scared. Um okay. I'm gonna save real quick. Because who knows what was gonna happen. Um I'm also gonna get up and stretch my legs for two minutes just before we go in. So hold on tight and I'll be right back. Alrighty. Okay. We're gonna go in. Here we go. The Rythwin Toll House. Oh my goodness. What is that? Oh, I remember this. Visage of Obedience. Is it neutral? Hopefully. Oh, I hear the coins. Gold, 17. Huh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I see. I see it. Hi. Oh, boy. Okay, upstairs. Dropping gold all over the place. Uh, okay, those are roots to go upstairs. Just want to do a scan of the bottom floor first.
Someone is speaking. Is it the tall person or something else? The merchants wanted. Sail the silvery seas, gaze upon the gate. No experience required. Okay. Is there a dock over here? What does it show? Oh, it doesn't show anything on the map. I haven't gone that way yet. Um, okay. A key. For something? Open up. A dagger, okay. Oh, dead Gith Yankee letter of surrender. Um, Want sure. Gith Yankee short sword, inscribed Gith Yankee slate. A map has been etched onto this intricate disc. The Risen Road wind through a mountain pass. Within the hills is nestled a sizable temple. Within the temple, the Githyanki people have established a stronghold. Petrographs reveal their mission to retrieve a polyhedric relic on behalf of the Githyanki queen. Isn't that from before? The, uh... The temple where they we met all of the Githyanki. Uh, okay, there was something. Letter of surrender. General Catheric Thorm, it is with heavy heart that I must announce the surrender of the Harper forces and its allies to your dark Justice Seer army under unanimous agreement. Harper's work against villainy and wickedness wherever they find it. So states our code, and so here we have acted. But I also know all too well how the statement continues. But they they work ever mindful of the consequences of what they do. We cannot be party to the suffering of the people of Rythwin, and indeed of the great loss of life that this war will visit upon the Sword Coast, and perhaps beyond it. So it is written, and so let it be done. Kelvin Haru... Aronson, on behalf of the High Harper Council and its allies. Two words are slashed across the bottom of the scroll. Surrender declined. Okay. I'm gonna have to go this way around when I leave. Let's go back into the toll house. Uh, rotten cheese. All rotten food, so far. Hmm, basically looks like nothing is in here. But it doesn't hurt to check. Uh, rotten carrot. Cheese from the Dale Lands. Or what's left of it. Silks from Comir, it says. Empty though. Thion shipment box? What is this? Uh egg it. Okay. All the way from today. Jewels and gems, probably. One still in there. Uh water. All right, let's open these doors just to see what's through here. Oh, there's something inspector's memo. Nothing of value. Filthy too. Nothing of value, filthy too. Um, B. Gerzu's up to his old tricks, the damn rat. Tried to sail right past without paying toll. 
a half dozen crates this time as if we'd miss a shipment that large. Transfer them to impound and no funny business. We seized two chalices just days ago, one silver, one gold, but it seems they grew legs and walked off. Odd, isn't it? I'm not pointing fingers, mind you, but if those chalices don't walk right on back, Aaron Goth will want answers and she'll be asking you first. Is Garen Goth or Goth the <laughs> the toll? I don't know what the right word would be. Toll master or uh, I don't know what that's called, but we're gonna find out. I'm sure. Everything is rotten. Oh, the pixie is talking as well. Okay, now I'm encumbered. Let's put the water jugs with... Uh, let's go with Shadow Heart because she's got a lot of room. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like I can use the stairs. So I'm gonna have to use... Oh, I could go here, actually. Uh, oh no. Um, how do I get around here? Can I go this way? Hello. Oh, there's a safe. Hi. Oh. I don't know. Oh yeah, Garen Gothorm. Who are you? What do you require? I will bring an end to the curse that shrouds this land. I bring wine? Wizard magical expertise. I have a presentation on weave dissonance if you'd like. I bring you death. Who are you? I require gold. You require gold. It seems to me you have enough. If I give you gold, what do I get in return? I have no more gold. Toss the creature a gold piece. Attack. Leave. If I give you gold, what do I get? You can pass, but first you must pay. I mean, we already went past. I think. It seems to me you have enough. Toss a gold piece. Huh. Oh. I require more. Okay. Toss the creature another gold piece? How much do you want exactly? I don't hand out so much gold for so little in return. How much do you want? All that you have. Well, that's not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> I don't hand out so much gold for so little in return. You may pass the river, but first you must. Uh, fine, take it all. Toss the creature a gold piece. I've already paid. You're a toll collector, or you were, anyway. Persuasion. Why stay in this rotted building? Take your gold and be free. Deception. I'm here to replace you as toll collector. Ooh. Hmm. These are both going to be Charisma. Do I want her to leave? Well, mm, either way, I think both of those could potentially result in her leaving. Maybe Deception. Difficulty class 10. Oh boy. Okay, let's do guidance. 
And friends. Oh no. This is a very high difficulty class. <gasps> I'm so lucky today. Critical success! Yay! Replace me. No! I require gold! Uh, oh, another... More charisma. You've been promoted! You'll collect gold from a much better toll house. You've done a great job here. Really set the standard, but I'll take it from here. You dare to question their decision? Leave this place at once. Either way... More deception? Oh, difficulty class 21. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. No. Not so lucky. Oh, I have one inspiration left. Yeah, I'll I'll use it just to see what happens. No dice, not today. Okay, we're going to fight. Probably. No! I collect the toll. More gold. Now. Here we go. Commence battle. Oh, and now we have all of these. Ow! What did you just do? <gasps> oh! Oh boy. Uh, that's not good. What did she hit her with? What? Left coin whip? Hold on. What did she do? Okay. Anyway, uh, okay, let me examine you. Coin helmet. She has so much health. Um, level 8 undead. 606 health. A cursed keeper of coins. No resistances. Oh boy. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Um, menacing attack. Oh, provokes attack of opportunity from this. Okay, well, let's get rid of this first. Potentially. Oh. That's an interesting development. If I kill the visages, then you uh, lose your health. Well, okay. Um, can I do a pommel on this one? This is your end. Dazed. I'm gonna do an action surge now, so that she can, uh, Lazelle, maybe can, we can get the health down as much as possible. Click to confirm. Let's do a menacing attack here. Hmm, missed. Let's try again. Perfect. Okay, how many of these are there? So far, she's lost a hundred hit points with each skull's death. And there's four more. <gasps> oh, okay. 
Uh, well, she kind of has to stay there. Um, so if I get rid of all the skulls, then she will be exactly zero? Maybe? Astarian is kind of... Okay, where are they all, first of all? One in the corner. One there. Um, okay, maybe I can reach this one. On the move. Oh, this is Shadowheart. Whoops. Um, okay. Thirty-four. What do I want her to use? Inflict wounds. She has to be super close to do that. Uh, and dashing is an action. Okay, so let's do a firebolt. Actually, hold on. Let me look at... Examine you as well. Uh, necrotic resistance. Oh, that looks so gross. Why does it still have flesh around the mouth? <laughs> uh, psychic vulnerability and immune to poison. Okay, so fire should be fine. Uh, 60% for firebolt. Sacred flame is 65. That doesn't do as much damage. Let's go with firebolt. Okay, good. Thank you. Um... Bonus action. Healing word. Get Tav up. She's gonna get smoked real fast. What now? But that's all we can do right now. Um, what now? I think it would be best that you misty step away. Somewhere safe. Um, at least for the moment. How far can she go? She can go... Here. Oh, she's outside of the range of the... The lantern. That's not good. But to be fair, she does have one. Um... We'll have to deal with that later. Okay. Astarian. Which one is next? The one in the corner. I mean, they're all gonna share a turn, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just wondering... This is probably the closest one to get to. A better position. Okay, bonus action dash. Click to confirm. Sneak attack. This one. Lovely. Uh, and he still has movement to keep going this way. Interestingly, which we will do. Okay. Um, and that's that for now. Okay. How bad do these skulls hurt? Oh, it's coming closer. Death Shriek 3. What do those do? Uh oh. Oh, she. Explosive horde? What does that mean? Okay, first of all. Need a potion of healing. Badly. Um, okay. Not the best positioning. She's very, very far away. Um let's well. move back this way. Okay, no longer Shadow Curse. That's good. She should be able to still hit this one with something. I hope. Um, 
but I'm gonna steal a healing potion. She's got a regular one. I'm gonna steal the greater. <laughs> For now, that's her bonus. Thank you. Okay. 34. Um. Hmm. I need something that's going to be a heavy hitter, potentially. Oh, what are these? Oh, just more explosives. Okay, well, hopefully I can get rid of these skulls before that happens. Um, I could also upscale the magic missiles. Thirty-four. Um, let's upscale this. It does how much more? Oh, it's the level of projectiles. Hmm. Ten to twenty-five potentially. Won't be enough. Don't really have anything that's exactly enough, to be fair. Um, not enough movement. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna stick with the original plan. Magic missile. Let's do level three magic missile. One, two, three, four, and then... Oh, it's gonna have to just be all that one because I can't hit any other ones. Go for it. Okay, not as much as I thought it would do, but that's okay. Um, that is fine. End turn. Ooh, provokes attack of opportunity. Disengage is an attack. That's not great. Um, her melee does the most damage. Uh, I think she's just gonna have to risk it. Okay, saved. Perfect. Uh, go this way. Be ready. Not enough movement. Um, what am I doing? Menacing attack? Does this not work? It should. I can't even see them. Hold on. Uh, 56. Too dark. Well, regardless. 17. Hunter's Mark. Sure, let's Hunter's Mark that one. And turn. Uh, Shadowheart is in a bad position. Let's get her to go this way. Um, did she firebolt this one? 60%? Ooh, 19, good. Uh, I don't think we need to do any bonuses right now. He's not gonna be able to sneak attack though, is he? You're not close enough. Uh, his regular melee is 6 to 11, range is... 5 to 14. We could Firebolt as well. 11. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for another round. So far, everyone is in the clear of the explosives. 
Okay. Ooh, blind terrors. Ooh, opportunity attack. Oh no. Ha! Huh? Hi! You're very close. Um, she can't move without getting hit. Can I do another magic missile? A regular one? Perhaps? Uh, 100%. 6 to 15. Uh, can't hit that one. Okay, hope for the best. Nice. Oh my goodness. Look at you. You're... <laughs> You're very, uh, naked right now. That's horrifying. Um... Very grotesque. Okay. Just flesh. Uh, what else can I do? Anything? Uh, I could do a sorrowful lash. How much health? 106. Got one more. I'm gonna end turn because I think we're okay. Oh no, she's frightened. Immobile. She still hit it with an arrow. Nice. Uh -huh. What does your face look like? Does she have horns? She almost looks like one of the ghouls from outside. Uh, okay, six health. <laughs> Aww. I feel bad, but not really. Ah, uh, can I get closer? And do... Let's just do a regular arrow. Disadvantage? Too dark. Free from the curse now. Nice! Perhaps you'll find peace. Oh! Okay, those still went off. Very nice. Um, okay, we're gonna have to do a short rest. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. <laughs> we just did hurt someone. Tollhouse Master's office key. Unsigned trade visa. 251 gold and twist of fortune. 1d8 piercing. Twist of fortune when you roll two or less with this weapon's damage die. Reroll it and take the new result. Okay, weapon enchantment plus one. Okay. Take all of that and then move the weapons over. Um, unsigned trade visa, let's see. An unsigned writ suggests a counterfeit in progress. Whoever made it was planning to trade illegally within the toll house. Inspector's memo. Oh, I read that already. Uh, okay, so now I have a Moonrise... No. I have a toll house key? Where did that go? Um... Oh, maybe it just got added to the keychain. Awesome. Okay. Do these... Anything. Skulls have anything? Something good here, I hope. Doesn't look like it. Uh, gold. I'll take the gold. Oh my goodness, there's gold absolutely everywhere. Might be useful. Wow. I sure hope there's a trader that's maybe got something good that's upcoming. That I could buy. This is very nice. Um, Anything of use? Okay, let's look at these chests first and then make my way back around. 
Uh, gold, lime, lemon, and lichen dye. More gold. <laughs> More gold. Another key. Water. Okay. Um, let's get rid of some gems. Bottle and bones, I don't think I need. Okay. Uh, let's move some scrolls. Okay, I think we're okay. I'm gonna have to swap here. Let's swap Can't afford to stay Shadow Heart. She has the most room for okay. things. Okay. Should take that. Oh, that's locked. Locked. We don't have a key for it. So it would seem. There's also roots. Maybe we could go above? Onto the roof? Nothing. Empty. A stuck safe door, huh? Oh, strength. <laughs> oh, we could also... Elixir of Hill Giant Strength. Huh. Okay, let's just do Guidance and just see... If she can make it. No, she sure can't. Okay, continue. Um, Lazel. Indolence breeds madness. She gonna be the the strongest? Let's do straight roll with guidance first. Ah, she didn't need to take anything. Twenty one. <laughs> Is it? Oh, no, it's 514 gold. Holy shit. Wow. This place is cool. <laughs> I'm glad I came here. Quickly then. <laughs> um. Open crate. There's shoes there that I probably don't need. Um, okay, the office. Is it going to be this door or is it going to be the double doors? I'm curious what's in the double doors then. Great. Fascinating. Um, is that all? No, we've got gold here and something over there. Interesting. What does the plaque say? Seized inventory. Seized inventory, huh? Does that mean there's something good going to be in there? Shadow Cursed Vines. Piercing Resistance, Necrotic Resistance. Hmm. Maybe I could burn those away? To get through there? Tollhouse Clerk's Key. Oh. Maybe that opens the double doors? Make my way all the way over here. Feathers. Okay. 
Oh, opulent chest. Is that locked or no? Doesn't look like it. 180 gold, arrow of undead slaying, arrow of salving, cure your target of poison, paralysis, or blindness. Take it all. Oh, there's a safe door here as well. Mmm, perception failed. Hmm. What's that? What is that? I don't know. Can I... Please read. If you find the safe, I'm inside. Had to shut myself in to avoid the shadows. There's no gold if you're thinking of killing me for it. Garen Goth moved it all to her personal coffers and I'm unarmed anyway. Just let me out when the shadows are gone and I'll find a way to repay you. I've only got three candles with me, so hurry. The combination to unlock the safe has been written in a big, bold handwriting below. Okay. The heavy door grinds open. Oh, the combination worked. Been in there for a long time. The skeletal remains of the hopeful survivor still waiting to be rescued. Their desperate refuge now their everlasting tomb. Yes. Oh, a supply pack and a gold necklace. I'll take the supply pack. And the water, I suppose. Dread likely. Don't mind if Why I... would someone lock themselves in a safe? Knowing they will probably die. I don't know. Okay. Um Oh, there's gold here. Don't mind if I do. Uh oh, we can can grab that. That's good. Okay, let's open these ones. Is this the clerk office? Shared stash, Tollhouse Master office key. Okay, this is the office key. She had a statue of herself. Interesting. That's curious. Oh, secret stash. Let's look at everything first. Uh, can't reach it. Why? There we go. There's a heavy chest. And a ledger. Hmm. What's that? Uh, that's not gonna break through, is it? Hopefully. Okay. Um, an unofficial record of traders and goods passing through Rythwin, as well as the tolls collected, organized by date. Every entry is made with precise strokes and each page stamped with a wax seal bearing the letters GT. As the pages progress, the number of recorded traders and the collected toll dramatically dwindles. Hmm. I mean... Sounds like everyone started avoiding this place, which makes sense. Okay, heavy chest. Iron Vine Shield. That looks kind of pretty. Plus two armor class, Iron Vine, while the wielder is holding a weapon empire empowered with Shillalock? And when they are hit by a melee attack, the attacker takes one piercing damage. What does that mean? It's a condition. Creature's weapon is magical and deals one to eight bludgeoning damage. Attack rolls use the wielder's spellcasting ability modifier. Okay. Plus three gold. All right. Um, these floorboards. Can we do anything with this? Rotten floorboards. 
Fire vulnerability, force vulnerability, bludgeoning vulnerability. Mm, the only person that has a bludgeoning weapon is Shadowheart. But perhaps we can just burn it all away. As long as everyone gets out of the way. Uh, let's try it. Do these ones first. Aha! Do we need to do it twice? It doesn't look like I need to do it twice. Okay, there's a hole... ...in the floor? Very dark. Um, perhaps... Let's see if these open first. They do. Okay, opulent chest. Is that gonna be booby trapped? No. Difficulty 10, guidance. Twenty-eight. Gloves of Battle Mage's power. When a weapon attack roll inflicts a condition, the wielder gains arcane equity. Strength saving throws plus one. Arcane equity is affected entity has a plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class for each remaining turn. Reduce the duration by two each time the entity takes damage. Okay. I'll take those. Astarian is now encumbered. Um, how heavy is the supply pack? Two. Let's just move that there. Um... Move those there as well. Okay. Anything else, or is that it? I think that's it in here. Alrighty. Uh, we could also go up the roots and see what's on the very top. Oh, there's a skeleton up here. Um, basement key, the rumor of Rythwin, basement key, a club, I don't want to take that, let's take this, and the rumor of Rythwin. What does this say? The rumor of Rythwin, author unknown, land of darkness, land of gold, land of Sharon's soldiers bold, the toll house countless riches keeps, where darkest shadow curse still creeps. The greatest treasures of them all lurks deep within Sepulchre's walls. Tomb of Thorm, oh, veiled by night, reveal the means of Kethric's might. Scribbled beneath the final verse, it's true, all of it. Hmm. Okay. Very good to know. Ooh, these tools and the SARM kit definitely need those. Um. I think that's everything up here. Let's go back down. Nice. Okay. Now... Down here... Uh, oh, it's still... Hold on. Oh, my camera is stuck. It thinks I'm still above the... Oh, maybe it's fixed. No, I don't know. Let me go like this. 
I think the camera thinks I'm still on the roof. Uh-oh. Um, okay, can we just go through? Can't get here. Not enough space. Oh, here we go. Can't get here. Huh. Okay, what's... What's on the floor below? First of all. Down one? What's in here? The door's blocked on the other side. There's no picking that. Okay. Is that the basement? Or is there a hatch somewhere? That makes me think we're gonna have to... Um... Jump down? Or maybe I could jump down here. Let's go over here for a second. Uh... Uh, <laughs> death. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> Okay, um... Basement key. It's gotta be in that room then. Because there's nothing else, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to jump down there. Unless... Oh, there isn't... Hmm. There's an elevator here as well. Old. Maybe this is the basement. Oh, is this not an elevator that we can use? Um. Oh, okay. Hold on. Looks like there's a door. Over this way. How would I get down there? Over here. Okay, let's just see if that... is a basement door or not. If not, then I can still probably lockpick it. That's the door we just went through. Moving in. Moving in. Anything in here? What's inside? Gotta be something, no? Rags. Bunch of clothes. Water. That's curious. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a button. Not trapped, is it? Ooh. Secrets. Oh, I don't like those sounds though. Okay, we've got a log book. Oops. Can I look at the logbook? 
This, uh, this messy financial ledger records an import tax charged to merchants by the Rythwin Toll House. The tax was clearly excessive and included gems and jewelry in addition to gold. Several notes are scribbled on the final page. Trade slowing, merchants scared of Catharic, nervous of war, he will not take my Jew. Who will not take the Jew? Catharic? Take everything. Um. Oh, there's a soul coin. Uh, which I have one of those. I don't think I need to take that. Can I go over here safely? Check all the vases. Okay. Let's go down. Are those sleeping bags? Or mattresses? Maybe I need more pockets. Maybe we do. <laughs> um someone living down here? Oh. Some people definitely died down here. A candle. Okay, grabbing all the things. Rustic chest. Current 78 gold, vigilance, and oil of diminution. Uh, Shadow Heart has the most space. Okay. Oh, was there something here? Oh, the skeleton. Whoops. Mason's Journal. The journal of a mason named Pid, punctuated by diagrams and calculations. Pid describes his work on a secret tunnel leading from the Toll House basement to the exterior. Final entry takes on a sinister tone. Excavation is almost complete. I've devoted every drop of blood, every bead of sweat I have to this project, and for what? Garen Goth's not yet dropped a single coin, but she's got no shortage of threatening stares. I should never have turned from the guild, even if I begged to return, they'd be in their rights to refuse me, but I'm not above asking once the dust is cleared. A secret tunnel leading from the Toll House basement to the exterior. Okay. That's not the way that we came in? Heavy oak doors. Worth a rummage? Hmm. Is that above a level? It might just be the basement doors. Um, but let me look around all this way in case there is a secret tunnel that I'm not seeing. In the water, maybe? Or over here? I would think maybe in the corner, but I don't know about that. Doesn't look like I can go that way. All right. Um, okay. Let's leave. How did I get down he here? Uh, these roots. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was indicating 
those doors. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there's a heavy chest that I missed. Take those. Okay. Now. Oh, I could go this way. Just to see. Make our way around. Um. Oh, I have been this way. Noted. Okay. Um. So I need to go back in and hopefully I can jump down into that hole. That seems to be the only thing I can do. go um oh all of these can't get here now it's blocked off Can't get here. Hmm. Okay, I broke it open, but it's not working now. Um, can I throw an alchemist fire or something? Can I clear this without causing too much damage? Maybe I'll put it over here. Okay, I'm con I'm confused. How do I get in there then? Uh Something was blocking the door. So I can't use the door. I'm so confused. But I feel like I should be able to... Oh, wait! Prone. There we go! Just had to find the sweet spot. Uh, can everyone else follow or no? Oh, there's a massive bookshelf in the way. I see. Um, okay, let's do... Can I do turn base? Never a dull moment. Now that I can see, which is good. Everyone could do go down here. Careful, I mind. Ah, uh, path is interrupted. Um, path is interrupted. Can't reach. Maybe he has to go over here. Hold on. 
Now we can't jump because we're into your turn based. Not reaction. Okay, go down there. Saving throw successful. Oh, that's for. Uh. Not falling prone. I see. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Environmental turn. Okay. How delicious. Can you go down here now? Can't. Oh, here we go. Prone. Good. Okay. Exit turn base. My face protects me. Let's see what we have. Alchemical ingredients and gold. More gold. Arrow of darkness. Arrow of many targets. How are we going to escape? I've got everyone down here. I'm not sure how we're going to leave this room now. But surely. Onward, then. Um, shabby wardrobe. Oh, I see there's a button right there. What's that? Uh huh. Okay. There's many secrets. Okay. Hmm. Press the button. Okay. So that's our exit. But is that all that was in here? Hmm. I thought there was supposed to be a... Um... A shipment? I thought there was supposed to be something hidden away here. That's not it. Whoever made it was planning to trade illegally within the toll house. Hmm. Maybe there's not? No one stopped me yet. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be like there's anything in here, which is a little peculiar. Besides what we just found. There's this wardrobe. Hmm. Okay. That's that then. Uh, oh, can we scale this safely? Or maybe we can jump back up there. Uh, I think we can just... Oh, is it too high? Hold on. Uh-oh. How do I leave? Can I go this way? No? Oh, 
jumping down there is gonna hurt. Um, <laughs> that's the only escape, huh? Looks like it. Okay, um, how is it too high to jump up here? Well, it is what it is. I'm going to... Actually, I think maybe over here is less... Less damage? Here we go. Ow. Okay. <laughs> They're all gonna have to make their way down. Which sucks. I'm gonna have to do probably another oh, a short rest. What am I to do? Unless there's an easier way down here, but I do not see one. Ugh. Breaking all their ankles and knees. Reaction, not reaction. Ow. Short rest. Awesome. Okay. Now, is that everything in the toll house? I feel like it is. So, in that case, we're gonna make it to the center. Uh, need to go up to the house of healing and this alchemical stash. So, which way do I want to go for that? I think this is the easiest way up these stairs. Um, <gasps> oh, rolling. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm gonna make my way to the right first. Let's go this way. <laughs> that would be the pixie again. Okay. We also, we need to look for Maul. I don't know if she's with the other tieflings or not. Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorn. Uh, Dark Justice here, Mask. Ooh, investigation notes. What kind of investigation? Uh, here. The ledger is filled with tight, precise ha handwriting that seems to suggest a focused analytical mind. A fresh lead has been volunteered by one of the guests in the dungeons. Praise Lady Shar for inspiring the inv inventor of thumbscrews. The guest spoke of an abandoned house, see map coordinates included, that was once said to belong to a potter. But is now being used as a clandestine clandestine place of worship for Selenite holdouts and their sympathizers. There is a chance, of course, that the guest offered up false information in a bid to end his suffering, but I suspect not. His confession had the ragged, unpolished air of truth to it. I shall endeavor to investigate it at once and cautiously, best if I am not seen. And should I find any Selenite idols or texts, I can summon reinforcements and lay a trap. Oh, what a joy it shall be to see their faces when they are caught in the act and surrounded by dark cloaks. Verzen Ranlock, Inquis Inquisitor to the Church of Lady Shar. Hmm. Uh, who has the most space? Still Shadowheart. Move these books over. Okay. That might be worth a look. 
one survival successful. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. There's a lot of chests hidden away. Uh, scroll of Blight, which she already knows. So we'll just take the gold. Is that rolling? Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, okay, fighting shadows. Where are they? Shadow cursed ravens. These are dead already. Okay, one of them is hidden. Let's go like so. Let me examine these again because I don't quite remember. Radiant vulnerability. Everything else is resistant, but necrotic immunity and poison immunity. So let's do... A cantrip. So don't waste any spells. Oh, the second one showed up. Uh, Sorrowful Lash. Nice. Time to strike. And turn. Make way. Not enough movement. Mm. Let's do the eighty percent chance one. Ooh, critical hit. Very nice. And a nine. Um. Oh, can you get close enough if we do a bonus dash? I think we can. Lovely. God damn it all! I could do nothing right! Not a damn thing! Aw. What are you even doing here? You're supposed to be at last light. Please tell me you weren't looking for a moonrise. I mean, we know why he's here. He blamed himself for people getting captured. Um. I'm gonna ask anyway, what are you even doing here? I was looking for Cal and Leah. What else? Instead, I found myself cornered by shadow fiends and in need of rescue from you, of all bloody people. Huh. <laughs> uh, should I have left you to die? You were trying to help your family, and you're too hard on yourself. Shut up and be grateful I saved your story tale. A good wizard knows when to ask for guidance for help. You're too hard on yourself. Not hard enough. Hmm. I failed Cal and Leah again. Be on your way. I'll return to last light. I know when I'm outmatched. Ah. Do you know where Maul is? Breathe deep and move. I haven't been able to see her. Uh oh, there's a Traveler's chest here? Certainly. Certainly. Magic pockets. Bloomstrand shield, armor class 20. Uh, I don't think I need that. And 48 gold. Okay. Let's get going. That makes me feel like I should go up one as well. Oh, there's also the house in deep shadows that I haven't looked at. Um, Because Maul is missing. Let's go up one. And then... Uh, I will loop back over to the left to make my way to the. Let's be on my way. What was it called? The Healing House, House of Healing. <laughs> I'm just curious what's over here. Mm. I'm gonna go 
go this way? Well, there is a heavy chest here. No traps, please. Oh, potion of healing. Thank you. Uh, that seems to be everything there. Up, up, up. And that'll fill my pack. Uh, oh, that's a very large crossbow. Um. I hear a lot of squawking. Pile of bones. Oh, I could go up here too. Ooh, everyone failed a survival check. That's less than ideal. Hmm. Okay, we can't actually go up here. Could have maybe jumped down from above, but oh, that's fine. Uh, okay. From here, I need to go... Down and then to the right. Or... Or I could just go through the tool house again. It's probably easier. Now. What now is we need to make our way to where we need to go. Um, okay, let's go up. Oh, this way. Uh, oh yeah, there was also this. Um, which required saving throws. So I'm going to save that one. I want to get rid of Let's see what this does. All of these uh thorns first. Rythwin House of Healing, presiding surgeon Malus Thorm. Malus Thorm, huh? Uh okay, if I go to the left. Let's see the alchemical stash first. Let's go this way. You have to go all the way over here. Oh! <gasps> oh, that scared me! I won't make the same mistake. Ah! Veteran Raider. Oh no. Oh, these are Gith Yankee? Oh, that scared me. I did not see them. I think they didn't load in all the way and I just kept going. Okay, uh, you were very close for comfort. Uh, she has advantage, interestingly enough. Let's do a burning hands because you're so close. Mm -hmm. Didn't do a lot, didn't do a lot, but that's okay. Um, I hit you with the whip, which missed. That's fine. Okay. Uh, who do we have? Lazel. Okay. 
not too bad. They're frightened, which is good. Um, oh, do I do an action surge right now? These guys are pretty heavy hitters. I kind of feel like I should, or no, I should wait to do that for the, I'm going to assume general, whoever's in charge. Let's spill some blood. Okay, um, sneak attack this one. Some blood. Critical hit, very nice. Um, I wish he had two attacks. That would be so nice. Let's get a little bit of a vampire bite. Okay. I'm gonna have him stay. Now. Hold person. Ooh. On this one. Use a spell slot of a higher level to cast a spell that sometimes grants additional benefits. Affect an additional target per level. That may also be beneficial. Um, this one for sure. Target is out of sight. Is she out of sight? Hold on, cancel this. Okay, we'll just do it once. She's held. Good. Uh, this calls for a spiritual weapon, I think. Let's put the spiritual weapon... who's first? This one is. Spiritual weapon... right here. Okay, um, and then... Let's have her behind here. Maybe that'll be some low visibility for the archers. Trip on Tav. Another trip attack for Shadowheart. Uh, reroll, please. And reroll. Uh, still affected. Ouchies. Oh, she saved. Damn it. I'm gonna have to try to hold again. Form of dread? What, is oh. <gasps> what does that mean? Oh boy, oh boy. When was the last time I saved? This might be bad. Gaping wounds. Okay, that's there. Um. Okay, well, I need to get rid of this. We need to get rid of this one, please. Okay. Uh. We need to stay there so that Astarian has advantage. No melee weapon equipped? Are you serious? Where did his weapon go? It's right here. That means he's gonna lose his action, doesn't it? I forgot that they could do that. Yeah, he loses his action to equip that. Damn!
Uh, I could do a flourish. That worked. Um, where do I want him to go? Lee Zell and Astaria are going to have to go this way, but also, well, actually, it might be beneficial for everyone to go to the left. Let's end this. Uh, yeah, we need to get rid of this one first. Can I do a inflict wound since you're right here? Or, hmm. Do I inflict wounds or do I hold person again? Concentration. Uh. Problem is if she gets hit again. Then she loses her concentration. She's not a good position where she's not going to not be hit. So let's do inflict wounds instead. How much does it do? Uh, 30 to 30. Or 3 to 30. If I upscale it. Let's do an upscale. 25. Uh, then let's do a healing word for Tav. She can't move without being attacked. Ouchies. Holy! Oh man! They might die here. Uh, luck. Oh, you missed. Did not miss a second time. Okay. Let's do another hit. Gaping wounds. Um. Yeah, let's try to get rid of this one. Oh, critical miss. That did one hit point? Yeesh, okay. I think... I misty step right here. Let's do that. Action surge. Menacing. Menacing again. Wow. That's unlucky. Okay. Turn someone inside out. Okay, can he sneak attack here? Got advantage. Oh, that didn't do as much as I thought. That's okay. Um, superior healing, sure. Can't afford to let up. How many hit points? Eight. What's her? Her main hand attack. Oh, she doesn't have her weapon right now. She could get hit again. Uh, let's do Sacred Flame. One hit point. Let's do another healing word. On poor Tav. Still on my feet. 
Uh, oh, she's still, she has a chance here. Not really. Uh, yeah, she does. Sorrowful Lash. Perfect. Um... This is not really a good... spot to be to not get hit by anything. So... We have to start making our way over this way, so I'm just gonna go to here. Even though she's probably gonna go down again. Yep, went down again. Ooh. Not good. Okay, opportunity attack. Oh, this is not good. Hit. Um. Damn, I just think it's been a while since I've saved, which makes me sad. But that's okay. Um. Let's just keep hitting. Second wind. Okay. I miss this. Mm. This is Shadow Heart. Kind of need her to get up first. Uh, then we'll start making our way. Oh, we can get pretty close. Ooh. I get sneak attack, maybe? By flanking? Yes. Um. Another healing word. What does mass healing word do? Uh, does it do herself? Maybe it doesn't. Um. Hmm. Do I do it on herself or on for Tav? I think for herself. And oh, that other one is right there. Where can she go where she's not visible? <laughs> I don't think anywhere, really. Close Let's go yourself. here. Make our way. Oh, one hit point left. Oh, jeez. How did I get into the situation? <laughs> oh, boy. What is this? This is the spiritual weapon. It's not going to be able to get over here. movement for 
really anything. Um, do does she have a arrow of many targets? No, but a starion does. He had another one too. Oh, he's got barbed arrows. Um, maybe he just had the one. Okay. Arrow of many targets. <laughs> Seventy-five fifty. Oh, that is beneficial. Um. Oh, did that not do anything though on that one? Hmm. Okay, menacing arrow. Oh, miss. Okay. Make her way. I feel like she could have meleeed this guy, but maybe not. Um, grant an ally eight temporary hit points with a bolstering cry. Sure. Will that work? He's still only at one hit point though. Oh, it's hit points in general, temporary hit points. Got it. He does not have an action right now. Um. Are there healing potions anywhere? Just these. Might as well take one. That nearly, ended me. nearly. Um. I don't know the best position because he can't really attack right now, so I'm gonna go over here. I don't know what the plan is. Um, healing word? Oh, she could do mass healing word. First of all, hold person. Okay. Oh, I just don't know if mass healing word heal your nearby allies. I don't think it does. Works for everybody else. So then we need to do healing word on herself again. I'm not going to last much longer. Mm. I have her go this way. Uh, uh spiritual weapon. Okay, hit. 15, that's nice. Okay, we need to get rid of... ...some of these assholes. Mm. 
Oh, you bitch. I really don't have anything else either. Let's finish this. Okay. Try to get a starion up again. Or I could do <laughs> a hefty inflict wounds and hope for the best. That's good, 57. And then I've got one more shot to get him up in one turn. Take two. Which he very well may still cold grip. perish. Ooh, Tav is gonna die. Hmm. Okay. Can you go anywhere without being targeted? Healing potion. Okay, they're targeting Lazelle. Oh, now she's down. Oh, she saved her whole person. Uh, okay, we've got spiritual weapon. Starion, can we sneak attack? Can't reach destination. Be quick. Can I not, uh, bonus dash and sneak attack? Okay. What should you do? Um, we are in a bad way. Sacred Flame. Do I have... I can give her an arcane ult cultivation, no? What she can take? That's for a level one. At least it's something. Uh, she can't move without provoking an attack of opportunity. Ooh, missed both times. Good. Oh! I need healing. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Um, what is it? Spiritual weapon? Not enough movement. Damn it. Okay. Need to get her up. Must have advantage. Uh, do I hit that one or do I hit this one? This one still has so much health. Mm. 
Do I have advantage on this one? No. Okay. Arrow of fire damage, perhaps? Hopefully. Yes. Okay. Now what? Um... Have him go here. Don't linger. To maybe have advantage on this guy later. Uh, got nothing else to do. Get Lazelle up. Last one. Um. Path is interrupted. Can she go up here and do that? Not enough movement. Okay. How much damage does this do? Probably not a lot. Let's do Sacred Flame. Not enough movement? She can't do it on the stairs? Not enough movement. I don't understand why that's not working, specifically. Hmm. That should be able to work, but, uh, it's not. Okay, well, in that case... Have her dash over here? I don't know. <laughs> Victory awaits. Victory awaits. Okay, can we? Oh, we can't. We can't hit yet because she just got up. Um. We also need healing. Let's move one of the potions which is where oh no I think Astarian took both of them so we have no potions left um Well, let's make our way closer, I guess. That's all she can really do. Um, wondering if she should take this. I don't know if that will affect the damage that she's able to take or not. Trying it anyway to see what happens. <sighs> Down again. Uh, uh. 
don't have the movement. My path be true. Lightning, which missed. Hmm, that only did four. This is not going well. Talk to me. Uh. What's the better odds? This one or... They're both the same. Okay, well it was better odds a second ago. Okay, like so. Also miss. Can't get anyone else up now. Uh... Where's the other one? Superior Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Down! <laughs> Surprise the spiritual weapon still stays up. But I guess it's its own entity. Getting so far away. Oh, I could... Well, that's an action. How far can she jump? Right up close and personal? That's surprising. Uh, okay. Please. Okay. Progress. Game over. <laughs> okay. Reload. I might have to do... I don't think I saved after helping Roland. But we'll see. Oh, I didn't even get to... Damn, I'm gonna have to do that over. I didn't even get to here? Oh, I guess we'll start. Uh, let's do group, mo group mode off. I'll take all of these. Try to do this quickly. I'll just help myself. Uh oh, perception failed. He doesn't see the button. Moving. Okay. Um, who has a good perception, Lazel? Does she see the button? No, she doesn't. <laughs> okay. Surely someone will. I think if push, push comes to shove, maybe that bookcase can be broken apart. I'm ready. Um, okay, Shadow Heart.
Let's try this way. Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Let's just have everyone go down here because... They're basically all down here anyway. Exit turn base. Swift as my feet can carry me. Oh, they all failed the perception. Oh no! Okay, how do I get out of here then? Or are they stuck indefinitely? Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, that can't be destroyed. Anything of use? Well, this isn't good. Uh, can they jump back up? Hmm. Not really. Can't reach this. This is a problem. Uh, I did not expect all of them to fail their perception check. Okay. I may have to reload again. Hold on. Unless... Hold on, let me see. Do I have... Where's that glorious faulting? No, it won't even let me... See the floor above. Okay. Let me reload that save. Again. Maybe I should, shouldn't go down there at all then. There's not a lot of good things. Okay. I think what I might do, I'm just gonna head straight to the House of Healing. Uh, Cause I don't wanna be repeating this same stuff too much. I can double back next time. Yeah, cause I don't think I even got to the basement. So, let's continue on. Okay, so I go through here. So forward. Uh, oh, I can keep going a little bit. Um, but too far, and then we, ooh, yeah, let's not do that. Let's go up here instead. I don't want to run into those Githyanki again. Okay, let's save here. Looking ahead. See what we find. Heavy chest. Sister Cinda. 
is neutral. Time to press ahead. At the moment. Here to see oh, the hi. Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Uh, why is she talking to Lazel specifically? Is she... Not full health? Fine, fine, I'll get in line. I don't have time to wait. I need to see the doctor right now. No thanks, I'll take my chances out there. I'll get in line. Be patient. Be well. Huh. Okay. Yeah, her and Astarian are not full health right now. But that should be fine. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we des- Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. I'll get back in line. Be patient. Be well. Okay, can we keep way. going? <laughs> She's just going to make the rounds. Not sick at all. Wait in line. Where's oh, the line? So well, but well enough to wait. Join the line and you will be seen. I'll get back in line. Be patient. Be well. Okay. Maybe I need to go around. Still alive. So that's progress. Let's leave. Make our way to the back. Can I go this way? Uh, oh, I could go up here. House of Healing, uh, barricade. There's a door here, but that nurse is going to be right there still, so let's go. Arabella? Oh, who is this? Oh, is that- that's that one tiefling. What are you doing out here? Hey! I know you! You're- You should not be out here by yourself. Twist him up. <laughs> oh. She's talented. Isn't that Arabella? The little girl Kulga nearly killed. Yes. Sorry. How are you? It knocks the wind right out of me. Ah, that's okay. I'd be more impressed if you'd actually killed it. Arabella, you should be with your parents. What are you doing out here? It's not safe. That's a powerful spell. Where did you learn to do that? Wizard and no wonder you could hurt yourself with magic that wild. What are you doing out here? It's not I was safe. For mom and pops. When Zevlor. When he. Well, there was an ambush. Mom yelled, run! So we ran. I could hear him run behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. I will try. Uh, which reminds me, I don't think Zevlor was with the other tieflings. I could be wrong. The ones in Moonrise? And I don't think Maul was with them either, so they're probably lost somewhere around here. Um, I'll find your parents. You can count on me. I'll think about it. My hands are full with these cultists. How much gold will you give me in return? Forget it, kid. You can take care of yourself from the looks of it. That's a powerful spell. Uh, you need to take care with wild magic. You could end up hurting yourself. 
I will find your parents, don't worry. Thanks, miss. I knew you'd help me again. The of vines course. won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. Just till you find Mum and Pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. Um... Of course you can stay in my camp. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, because I don't think it would be a good idea for her to stay when there's combat gonna happen. You can stay in my camp. There's an inn called Last Light. Alfir is there. You'll be safe. Forget it. No kids in my camp. Um... I would send her to Last Light, but then she has to travel through the Shadow Curse Lands by herself. So let's just do camp. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So you send Mum and Pops there. I'll be waiting, hero lady. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so they're through here. Uh, right. Now we are in the graveyard. Is there an entry point this way? Oh, perhaps. Pile of bones. There's. I know for sure there's a way to the back. Um, where the doctor was. But I also want to see. Uh oh. Are those her parents? Uh oh. Uh, excuse. Excuse you. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. Um. That's Arabella's father. Or was Arabella's father? Oh, was he dead? Why are you treating a dead body? I see you have medical supplies on hand. Can you spare any? Leave. Why are you treating a dead body? Not dead. Merely medicated. To ease the pain. The patient's definitely dead. Been dead for a while, judging by the smell. Oh. Sleight of hand to give the corpse a subtle poke. Deception. I see now. They're sleeping peacefully. I think your work here is already done. Oh. We could have her maybe leave the room and then inspect the bodies. Guidance. And I'm gonna do friends as well. 18. Lovely. For a total of 23. I knew these hands would not fail me. The patient is sure to recover. Uh, now that that's sorted, might I purchase some supplies? Oh, she's not a traitor. Now, but you're welcome to look. Okay. Oh, potions of greater healing. I definitely want those. And the regular potions of healing, because why not? Um. Rotten carrot. Oh, purple worm toxin? Isn't this the thing that I'm supposed to make? Coat your active weapon with toxin that deals an additional 1 to 10 poison damage. Oh. Okay. Featherfall. Carabassin's poison. Coat your active weapon with poison. Targets must succeed a constitution saving throw or become paralyzed and poisoned. That also sounds interesting. Um, oh, acorn truffle. I will take the alchemical ingredients as well, since they're there. The additional camp supplies, I don't think I need to do. Oh, that's a lot of money. 1167, but I will do it. Um... Everybody has a little bit of money, so I'm just gonna stockpile.
Uh, okay. I need to subtract. Did that add all the gold? No, it didn't. Wait. Okay, 1303, I need to... Oh, how do I split this? Um... Or I'll just balance the offer. There we go, that works. Okay. There we go. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to tend to my patient. Which one? Oh, she's gonna stay there. That's not good. Oh, they're dead, dead. Um, get to Baldur's Gate. An old map in a druidic style of what appears to be hidden routes out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate, and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. You can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> Her poor parents. Um... No traps, please. Oh, there's even more. What the heck? I mean, I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. Huh. A music box, rows of books. What's in here? Can I inspect the bodies? Or is she gonna get mad? Nothing on her. Thing on him either. Okay, well I guess we're gonna leave and come back. I'm gonna deal with you later. But first... Oh, double oak doors. Um, can I go up the stairs first? Have a better vantage point, perhaps? <laughs> Distressed patient. Okay, that one is still alive. Um, so... <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to this guy first, aren't I? Oh, she's encumbered right now. Um, well, let's split the items. Let's give three to Astarian. And two to Lizelle. Uh, she's got an empty spot right there. We'll also split these. Um. Oh, I can't get it just roll while I'm holding it. Okay. Still encumbered? Yes. Uh... Remove some books. That doesn't weigh anything, really. Um... One to Shadow Art. She's still encumbered? No. Good. Okay. Okay. Let's go through here. Uh, oh, this is still another platform. Okay, let's open these doors. Oh, 
hello? Can you leave that person alone, please? The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel, indeed, is an extension of Sha. Aha! Uh -huh. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody oh. of mercy. <laughs> um. Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Can we save this guy before they- Okay, keep Stop. cutting. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Hi, hello. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Wow, Act 2 is such a different, um, vibe than Act 1. <laughs> I don't wish to study, only to lift the curse on this land. A student, yes, do please enlighten me. You will stop this sick spectacle at once. Wizard, I am a scholar. This is true, just not in the study of torture. Um... Wizard, I am a scholar. This is true, just not in the study of torture. Behold, sisters, the very face of ignorance. One who mistakes tenderness for torture. Go on. Acquaint the face of ignorance with the true object of our studies. Absence. Absence. <laughs> no other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. Oh! A stinging truth, but a truth nonetheless. Shadowheart, shut up. See? Please. What is the light oh, of this eyes poor guy. but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look how the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. No thanks. Um, investigation. Examine the sisters and their implements. Religion. Recall what you know of Shar's teaching. Persuasion. The sisters aren't ready. They'll make me sick instead of curing me. Investigation. Ooh, is plus six. Religion is plus three. And then persuasion and charisma is going to be plus one. Let's do investigation. With some guidance, please and thank you. Oh, a five. Just made it. The sisters' Yay. blades are bloodied and dull. Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. Uh, their blades are uneven. Efficient surgery will require further training. Um... Can I also still do a religion check? I'm gonna go with... Efficient surgery will require further training first. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much, I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Okay. Um, intimidation. I have read your treatise. Initiate the final lesson or die by my hand. 
Persuasion only with sacrifices mastery gained for the sisters to learn you must submit. Why not have them hone their skills on each other? <laughs> I mean, that would be beneficial. Or we could take him out? Huh. How about on each other first? Oh, difficulty class 21. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Let's do friends. Oh, that's such a high roll. Here we go. Yeah, no, no dice. Oh, I have more inspirations, though, <laughs> that I gained. Uh, sure, I'll try once more. Oh, boy. Oh! <gasps> Did I make it? I made it! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Continue. Yes. For are we not all in need of a cure? The scalpel does not discriminate. Let each and every one of you partake in its soothing journey. Absent sisters, acquaint yourselves. Oh no, is this going to be a total bloodbath? <laughs> it is a proud moment when one sees one's teachings so lovingly taken. To oh. Oh my. You are to be commended for their graduation, rewarded with the promised cure. Come, I will acquaint you with the lady's dark fingered embrace. Well, at least they're out of the way. Uh, wizard deception, my magic has blinded me. I see now that Char is the only path. Show me how I beg of you. Um, or just straight attack. I could try to do another deception. Either way, I think it will result in a fight. So let's at least try to be deceptive. Ooh, difficulty class 21 again. Okay. I don't think that made it. Nope. Reroll. One more time, just to see. Because I'm curious. That's even worse. Never mind. <laughs> Twelve. All right. Let's Hold just continue. Hush. Hold still. Let there be an end to your suffering. Oh boy. Okay, is is he like a full automaton with just like a flesh head? How 276. Um, lovely assistant. Of course it is. A necro necromancy spell. A surgeon reanimates the corpse of one of his nurses. I should have had to try how them um, turn on him. That's what I should have done, but it's okay. Um, okay, counter spell. Not today, bitch. Oh! Concent concentration saving throw successful. Okay, you are very close. Um, can I examine you first? Okay, threatened. Fire resistance. Multi attack wounded. Malice Storm can multi attack if his hit points are at 40% or less. Okay. Do I do a Phantasmal Killer on you? I could also do. Blind. Blind is level 2, Phantasmal Killer is level 4. 
Let's do blind. Oh, 30%. What's Phantasmal? Phantasmal Killer is even worse? That's not good. This is 100%. That actually might work. If I can get the entire area without Tav, then these corpses will also be affected. But is that going to hurt the patient? It might hurt the patient. Okay, I'm gonna attempt... What if I do... That's the same odds. Okay. I'm gonna... Attempt blind? Didn't work. Okay. Get whipped. Uh, can't move without being attacked. Let's surround. Please and thank you. Uh, I'm gonna have him go on this side. And attack. Oh, missed! <gasps> Not great. Can't target undead. Oh, of course he's undead. Um. Hmm. He doesn't have enough movement to disengage right now, so end turn. And lethal. <laughs> We're gonna go on this side. Menacing attack, please. Ah. This is not going as I hoped. Um. Menacing attack again. Okay, that one worked. 16 plus 2. Uh... Pommel. Missed. Do you have weaknesses, perhaps? Like the other two? Somewhere? Oh, there's nurses up there. That's not good. You're gonna be a tough cookie, aren't you? Um... I'm gonna action surge. Try to get health down as much as possible. Let's do regular. That one missed. Okay. Need to stay focused. Shadow heart. Okay. Can we do a hold person or? No, he's not considered human or a humanoid. Huh. That's trouble. Does he have vulnerabilities? No. Oh, I hate the way the little steppy steps that he's doing. Uh, oh, it looks like he still has flesh legs, so his torso is probably not a machine. Uh, okay. Can I see anything around real quick? Oh, there's a way up on the roof, maybe? Uh, where do I want her to go? Uh, let's go here-ish. Spirit Guardians. Let's do Radiant, even though uh, Necrotic could work. Radiant will probably be more beneficial, and then we'll do a Spiritual Weapon, because why not? I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Let's surround this guy. 
Uh, lacerate. Sure. Okay, nice. Got to focus. And end turn. That's gonna use all of my counter spells, isn't it? He's gonna do this every time. Okay, that reanimated anyway! Ouchie. Oh, critical hit, that's nice. Uh, okay, whose turn is it? Tavs. Phantasmal Killer is gonna be... It's really bad, okay. Um... Can I do a lightning bolt on you without hitting my allies? Not really. That's a level... Oh, she's... Doesn't have any level threes anymore, I see. Mmm... You know what? I might just have to do the black tentacles. I'm gonna try. This might mess me up, but I'm gonna try anyway. Uh, oh, it doesn't seem to have affected patient. I could be wrong. Okay, um, can she back up? Don't waste a step. Oh no, the patient died. Well, oh well. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do a whip just in case that pulls him out of the black tentacles. Um, so where is my arcane cultivations? I think I have one somewhere. That is for a level three. I could be wrong. Oh, she has it in her inventory. Okay, superior elixir of arcane cultivation. Take that one. Okay. Uh, can only be used once per turn? Hmm. Okay, let's do regular melee. Critical hit, nice. Uh... Let's also do a flourish, because why not? Hmm, missed. Okay. Nice. Can I do it again? Nice! Okay. Okay. She can't move. Really? Without attack of opportunity, but that is okay, I think. Will protect me. Uh, she could... Shadowheart could move a little bit closer. Okay. Free damage. Um... Can she do inflict wounds? She can. <laughs> Let's do a level four. And hope she doesn't miss like last time. She missed. Reroll, please. Thank you, 38. Uh, she can't really move. Spiritual weapon. Bonk. Eleven. Perfect. Oh, multi-attack. Missed, missed. Critical hit. Good. Thirty plus five. Be flayed. The next instrument, sister. The next instrument. Um, okay. What do I want? have to do right now. Uh, I could just do Firebolt. Critical hit. Very nice. 
Very, very nice. Okay, um... Not gonna risk the whip, just in case. Come on, Astarian. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, we still have to deal with you. Mind Screech? Oh. Ow. I mean, surely. Can I just... Thank you. Awesome. I did not save the patient, but uh, sacrifices need to be made, I suppose. Oh, what's going on with him? Moon shield. Is he good? I think he's good. No one back home will ever believe this. Uh, okay. What do you have on you? Quite a few things. Um, a key. Battered loot, supply pack, gold, heart-shaped rock, goth eye stock, Pegasus feather, surgeon's subjugation amulet, paralyzing critical once per long rest when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid. The wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Well, that's. Very interesting. Um, she's gonna get encumbered, so let's have Shadowheart pick that up. Might find something useful. Poor patient. So sorry, I couldn't save you. Um, Carabasson's gift. That's wine. Trepin. One d six plus two. Let's. Take this. Oh, strong paralytic poison. Oh, I see. I thought that was wine. Definitely not. Oh, artificial leech. That is absolute nightmare fuel. Um got to keep moving. Okay. Can I loot this place? Is there- oh, I did not mean for her to go up. A syringe. Um... Rethwin Necrology? Uh, the Sutstand Scroll is a list of the dead, specifically casualties of battle. It is dated 986 DR, about a half millennium ago, and signed by Malice Thorm. Titus Craft, Justice Seer, Decapitation. Lauden, Eben, Justice Seer, Blood Loss. Unknown, Selenite, Arcane Burns. Unknown, Smashed Skull. Morin Mar, Justice Seer, Split in Two. Unknown Druid, Crushed Windpipe. From these names follow hundreds of others, a final index catalogs objects plucked from various corpses, daggers, pins, and jewelry of all sorts. Uh, oh, I did not mean to click that again. Well. All the children are dead, at least. Quote-unquote children. Of Thorms. I'm actually not sure exactly what the lineage is supposed to be. But I'm, uh... They're, uh... Considered thorns, regardless. Okay, I don't think there's gonna be anything in those bookshelves. Um... Can I look Just at the bottle rocks first? Oh, why does she go up to look at the bottle racks? I don't understand. Oh, okay. Uh, no, this way, I think... I think this was the way I went through last time, and then I saw the patient table and noped right out of there. Uh, 
Okay, can I... Can I go through here? Did I look at all this? Oh, I did already. Oh, there's a book here, though. Judge of the Damned. This book is redolent with an enticing smell of paper and ink. An excerpt from the book in which uh, Ithacan Mogros discusses the strange theistic history of mortals becoming gods. There have been many lords of death who cast judgment upon souls lost and found alike. Among them was Kelimvor, a hard man of harder convictions. As a mortal man, he was a mercenary with a paladin's stoic beliefs hidden under a crust of scowls and grumbles. As lord of death, he was forced to mellow both aspects of himself, for the impulses of a man and a god are not consummate. Mortals are allowed caprice, but immortality wears that stone smooth quickly, and Kelimvor chose cool prudence over cold malice. Um, okay. Let's do another quick scan. I'm gonna have to... get rid of that other nurse. Or maybe I don't need to if the... if the mom and dad are for sure... deceased. I think they are, to be honest. Um, travel guide to the Sword Coast. That one I read. Okay, let's go up the stairs now that we can explore. This way. Uh, oh, urgent request for supplies. Did I read this? To Chief uh, Chiro Chirurgeon, Harborside Hospital, Baldur's Gate, from Sister Anna Lidwin, Dark Cloak, Rythwin House of Healing, Urgent. Dear Sir or Madam, we have reached dire times in Rythwin. War has come. Do not teach it. It is our duty to mend all who break, comfort all who ail, without regard for the gods they worship or the champions they heed. Yet our surgeon Malastorm abides by his own creed. The will of Shar, he might say, and I dare not argue with him or any Thorm. He allows supplies to dwindle, leaves some patients' injuries to fester so he may study, and commands me to nurse only dark just as seers that seek treatment. I beg you, sir or madam, please deliver us aid so I might close every tear and cleanse every wound, even those of harpers and cellulites. We will humbly accept all you can offer. Potions, herbs, sutures, even clerics. Help us to heal. With gratitude, Anna Lidwin. Wasn't that one of the nurses? Obviously, he experimented on the nurses as well. Um, what does this button do? Oh, there's a platform. Okay. Can we step on the platform? Everybody? If I click this, will they... Nope. <laughs> they did not. Uh, okay, go back down. I'm gonna have to turn base and have... Oh, now they come on the platform. Almost. Almost there. Okay, hold on. Turn base. Tav. Can't give up now. Go there, please. Lazelle is making me a little nervous with her being right on the edge. Let's click the button. There we go. Um, okay. Anything on the roof? There was a body on the- oh, there is. Huh. Maybe I look at that first. Can we jump on this roof? Without injury? Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, okay, I gotta go this way? 
never wanted the easy path. And around. Well, that almost makes me think that there's a skeleton on the roof of the what was it called? The Wandering Moon? Potion of Invisibility. A stuffed bear? Oh. Um, okay, which way do I go? Uh, I think I gotta go through here. And then through here. Okay, let me look at the skeletons first. Bone and a bone. Book of Poetry. A book of handwritten poems, the ink almost completely faded, but for a few enduring words. I hold my breath for the sun to fall, for in the hot collapse of day, I'm brought to you. While a breath wind sleeps, the world entire is ours. The grass, our bed, the dew, our silver candles. The moon and stars, our private canopy. And you, the brightest of them all. My light, my heart, my world. I would watch the stars with you to the end of time, but night forever arches into day, and the sleepy nothing of the sunlit hours will mutter on. So instead, I shall find eternity in a moment, and by the glance of moonbeams in your eyes will I be brought to rest, as rest should be, enduring still, longing for naught but itself. Ah. Okay, is that everything up here? Oh, it looks like I could possibly go in through that way if this tree wasn't in the way. Oh, there's more stuff. Uh... Okay, there's not another entrance. I think I'm gonna have to jump across. Oh no, she can just walk right over. Um, okay. Here, though, I'm probably gonna have to jump. No one fall- Oh, they're going along the- On the beam. A uh, potion of invisibility? Okay. And that's it. So can we go back over here? Um, there's a few methods of going through there, actually. Let's, let's, uh, bypass the button just in case that's a trap. Let me just walk right in here. I don't like that floor. That makes me nervous. I don't like that they're held aloft by chains. But... Hospital library key? Uh... Protection from evil and good. I don't need that, really. Handkerchief. Oh, scroll of sea invisibility. Become able to see invisible creatures and possibly reveal them to others. Oh, I will take that one. I haven't seen that one before, I don't think. Um, gilded chest. What a day. Yes, what a day. Can we lockpick this? Easy. Guidance. Ooh, natural 20. Wonderful. Uh, gold and a glass goblet. I don't think I want that. Shall we? Okay, let's walk on these. Surely we're fine. Um, I don't know. Black tentacles, which we don't need to learn. They already know it. The Lords of Manus Volume 4 Yinogu? 
What is this? Of all the demon lords, few have made their mark on the world as firmly as Yinogu. Though his ravenous hunger is claimed to be a mindless compulsion, there is nothing mindless about the thorough insinuation of his presence in the world via his chosen gnolls. But how are gnolls created? First, a chosen of Yinogu must do as their master's uh, as their master wills kill. A uh, <laughs> I can't talk today. A hyena that then feasts on the corpse of the chosen's victim, and a knoll is born of the glutted belly of the hyena. Knolls thus born are hunger manifest. They ravage any living being, tearing body and bone asunder, leaving behind only bones. They care not for wealth or material gain, only to sa uh, satiate, satiate their hunger. That satiation is itself an offering to Yinogu, funneled directly to him. Some might envy the gnolls for such a tangible connection to their creator god, but that envy would melt to utter terror as soon as the beast's rotting breath and wicked cackles make their way through the dark of night. If you should find yourself the object of gnollish pursuit, burn your corpses, cover your scent, and pray to whoever might aid you, for there is no bribing, begging, or reasoning with hunger incarnate. Good to know, I suppose. Um, Crown of Madness. I have a scroll for that. That's the same thing. Uh, another gilded chest. Uh, do I still have guidance? I don't, but... Okay, let's just do a straight roll. Seventeen total. Gold jade frosted ear. Oh, Kirin hair for a potion of supreme healing. Okay, I need to move more things. Move the book. All the books. And that should be okay? Yes. Portrait of a woman. Hmm. Okay. That's all that's in here, I suppose? Let's go back. Uh, we all have to jump onto this platform. Perfect. Okay, so then where is the library? Unless that was the library. I'm confused. We have a library key. Let's get on with it. Uh No time for Can maybe this way? Worth a try. There's double oak doors here, which leads just outside. The heavy chest. Forty-eight. Hmm. How many short rests do I have? One more. I can keep going a little longer now. I want to open that chest. I think that was the library. Or it seems to be? I don't know. Um... Keep your distance, darling. Go. Can we do a... Uh, sneak attack? Must have advantage against target. 
Apparently we don't have advantage. Interesting. Okay. Still breathing, despite everything. Well, can I always room for more? Just take things. Uh where did that book go? Oh, here. Oh, I think I've picked that up before. So it seems. Blood bank? I'm gonna look in this chest. Hospital library key. Patient registry? Excuse me. Uh, this exhaustive log lists each and every patient to have sought healing in Rythwin along with their ailments. The minor injuries and common diseases of the early pages give way to critical wounds and deep lacerations, the repercussions of battle. Several unbound scrolls have been slid among the final pages, demanding that healers turn away wounded harpers and cellunites and reserve their tonics for wounded dark justiciers on the orders of General Catharic Thorm. Okay. Nothing of real importance. Um, I'm gonna move more things. Okay, no longer encumbered. Uh, moving ahead. Where? Oh, where? Okay, this is another door to outside. Oceans of sleep. Surgeon's memorandum. Memorandum to all Rythwin House of Healing medical personnel from Malastorm Head Surgeon. It has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetic resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. Nurse Lidwin informs me this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to Our Lady, Our Lady's final embrace. Never have I heard such abject nonsense. Anesthetic is a tool to relieve my ears of my subject's screams as I apply the blade not a mercy to be freely dispersed to living corpses. So has saith Shar, only in the infirm's suffering may we forget our own. The next to ignore this missive will feel my scalpel without sedative. I will simply have to endure the shrieks. Well, I'm glad that guy's dead. Um, unless he gets reanimated again. Okay, double oak doors. Hmm. Is there like a secret door somewhere that I'm missing? Oh, there's this ladder. I think this just goes back up to the rafter though. Oh, there's a note there as well. Uh, yeah, this is just up to the rafters. Oh, it does say library and records. Okay, maybe I unlock the door and then press the button, because maybe the button does something other than opening the door. I don't know. Okay. Oh, actually, this button probably just raises it, doesn't it? Or not. It does not raise that platform. Hmm. Uh, oh, there's a nest over here, isn't there? Okay, let's look at that. Pig's head and blush cap mushrooms. Skeleton has 46 gold. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave the pig's head. <laughs> um, I think that is it in here. So... Where do I want to go? Uh, okay, let's go over here first. Let's go here, and then we'll use the ladder, go down. Camera. Staff bedding pool. What is this? House of Healing Staff Pool rules. One, a foreign body must be lodged in redacted cavity. Two, once a guess is made, it may not be made again. Three, minimum bet is one gold piece. Round one bets pool 11 gold pieces. Lidwin chicken egg, Cinda wine bottle, Hannah carrot, Vanessa candlestick, winner, Anya ogre's finger. Round two bets, pool 15 gold pieces. Lidwin live rat, winner, and yuck, Cinda children's doll, Hannah pearl necklace, Gian marbles, Vanessa potato, Anya minotaur horn. Round three bets, pool 17 gold pieces, Cinda, Quill, Hana, Cremation Urn, Gian, Flute, Vanessa, Whipping Cane, Anya, Troll's Tooth. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, okay, can I just go through here? Here we go. Um... Sister Lidwin. Do I just kill you? I don't think I can do anything about the bodies. Training shield. Hmm. Okay, let's just leave. Uh, and then where do I want to go? The mausoleum. I need to head that way. Uh, first, let's go to the alchemical stash. Which, I think I need to go all the way around this way to do so. Um, oh, I think I could... Probably just cut through here. And this way? Um... Oh, how do I actually... Is this... Climbable? It is. Ah, okay, let's go... I go this way, and then... I think I pretty much follow it. Oh, I could have just kept going the other way as well. That's fine. Oh, I forgot there's... Huh, enemies here. Um, the stash would be not accessible from this side, I don't think. No, it looks like it's in this building right here. Hmm. Okay. In that case, might as well engage. I mean, why not? <laughs> oh, there's actually quite a few. 
Ahem, well... Oh, that's going invisible. Of course it is. Uh, who do we have first? Astarian. Let's go up close and personal. Eradicated. Lovely. Okay, I would like... I'm gonna go a little bit further forward. Um... I could have him dash, but I don't think he can go anywhere without... Oh, Shadow Mastiff? Oh! It looks so cute, but deadly. <laughs> um... Oh, that morgue. That looks interesting as well. Okay, um... What was I saying? Uh, he could dash over here. Maybe I'll do that. Let's go. Okay. And turn. Oh, what went invisible? Ah. Okay. Tav is getting hurt. Actually. Can she do her lightning bolts? Are they all in line? They are perfectly in line. Well, I have to do that. When am I going to get an opportunity like that again? Awesome. We're still kind of in danger. Um, I'm going to take one potion of greater. And not move. Okay, uh, let's do... How much health does it have? Three. Taste my fury. Critical hit. Very nice. Um, she doesn't have enough movement. There's a wraith there. Oh, aren't the wraiths... Especially... Dangerous? I think I dealt with a wraith last time and it said something about um, sucking all of the light away. Which is a problem. Okay, let's go closer. Ninety percent disadvantage. Uh Okay, I can only click on that one for some reason. Critical miss. Hmm. I could have her misty step. I think I'm gonna save it for now. Aura of Vile Oblivion. Oh, life drain. Okay. First, could do Radiant Spirit Guardians. She needs to move this way first, though. Heading there. Like so. Oh, it's... Oh, did it just come visible because of the light? Oh... Okay, let's do a Sacred Flame. Let's do it on this one first. Hmm. That's saved. Not ideal. Spiritual weapon. I mean, I think we've probably got this, but just in case, let's put this bad boy right in the middle. Okay, they're going to attack the spiritual weapon instead, which is good. Oh, it took a lot of damage, though. Um, let's do this one. Eee, strength drain. Okay, can he do... He can't do a... 
sneak attack right now. Main hand attack is 80%. If he does fireball, that's going to be 36. Uh, so let's just do a regular hit, which missed. Of course it did. And I just laughed at him. <laughs> okay, um... I could disengage. I think Lazelle has to move here so that Astarian can get his sneak attack advantage. A dull moment. Uh, but first... They're still in line, but I do not have uh, another level three. Mm. I could do shatter for these ones here. I think burning hands is probably best for this one right now. Unless, hold on. Burning hands 3 to 18. Firebolt. Is that going to be a disadvantage? Let's just fi do Firebolt. Six. Mm. Do I want her to move? I think I do. I think I want her to move here. Okay, um, 18, let's do menacing. Perfect. And can we move and do menacing on this bad boy? Frightened. Um. I'm gonna do an action surge. Because I'm thinking I'm gonna probably do a long rest after this after getting the stash. So, let's just keep going. And a pommel, why not? Ooh, missed. Uh, okay, let's have Shadowheart attempt to deal with one of these. Sacred Flame. Are they, um, vulnerable to... They're not vulnerable to Radiant. Let's just do Firebolt. Okay, one down. Ah, uh, she's probably okay where she is. She probably has high ground advantage. So I won't do any bonuses right now. Okay, spiritual weapons turn, 34, 18. Okay, Astarian, does he have advantage now? He does. Lovely. Uh, let's do a flourish. Yeah, let's do Firebolt. Okay, another one down. Perfect. And... Mm, 34 to 53. Let's do Menacing Attack. And a regular. Lovely! Alright, do they have anything cool on them? Old... A petrified tumor. Another tumor. <laughs> uh okay. What's hiding here? My eyes grow heavy. Best to make up. Soon. Very soon. Uh oh there's a oh this is the stash. I think, in the dirt mound.
Record of shipment, corpse rose. Oh, it's literally a flower coming out of the skull. It's pretty cool, actually. Okay, let's take all of those things. Read the letter here. T. Sending you the requested ingredients as per your letter, including the purple worm glands. I'm eager to see the results of your experiments. Please send me some samples when it's... When it's completed, I have a few clients who would be very interested in the toxic fruits of your labors. Okay. I feel like that was the doctor. <laughs> Waste a step. That sent that, perhaps. Oh, morgue. Um... I kind of want to check this out real quick Let's see what's in here oh oh that's a lot of bodies um weapons rocks why is there a sh such a long stone piece there that almost makes me think there's a door Maybe there is? Are there more perceptions? Yes, there is. There is a button. Haha! -ha. Oh! A charred corpse. Okay, hold on. First of all... There's a few corners of this place. A burlap sack. Nothing in it. Is there a door on this side as well? I don't think so. The skeleton... It looks like it's in thinking pose. Um, double oak doors. Okay. Oh, are those gonna come to life? Oh, no. Let's go in here first. Charred corpse. Furzu's ring of trading. Deception plus one. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna leave that. As interesting as that sounds. Wooden chest. A strange tendril amulet. Level 4 conjuration spell of large black tentacles. I mean, I, she already knows how to do that. Someone else could wear it, maybe. To have the same spell. So I'll take that just in case. There's another charred corpse here. Um, okay. There's an apple backpack. Okay. Interesting. Not too much in there. Oh, do I want to go? Something. It looked like something just dropped. <laughs> it's a zombie. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, they're all pretty good health. What's next? How are the spell slots? Not too bad either. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Real quick, we'll just pop in here and see what it is. Undead fortitude. 
poison immunity. Are they not going to wake up? There's a lever over there. Strange. Oh, no, they waited till we were right dead center. Poisoned? Uh oh. Oh, is that a trap right there? There's a vent. Okay, we're gonna have to probably pull the lever. I assume? Um. Undead fortitude. Uh. Let's make our way over there. Ooh, the shadow curse is affecting though because she's too far away. Um, okay. Let me examine you. Cold resistance, necrotic resistance, and poison immunity. Let's do the 95 on this one. And we'll do a sorrowful lash as well. Not too shabby. Can't have disadvantage. Okay, he doesn't have advantage at all, so that's not a problem. Uh, oh, the whole place is starting to... Expel noxious gas. Um, can we do anything with this? Oh, we can disarm? Oh, poison, so he has disadvantage. Okay, let's do guidance. And hope for the best! Oh no! Uh, roll again? Sure! Okay, that's good. Much better. Now, can he still attack? 27, that's really good. Uh, no. But it dealt with one vent, which means he has to move over here. Um, so let's do an... Let's do a dash. And can you disarm this one as well? Not yet. Okay. This one has... 90% disadvantage, 42% disadvantage. Um, if she misses, then it doesn't spend the superiority dice. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, that's good. Awesome. One hit point. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything else. Uh, oh, I can reapply Hunter's Mark? Let's do that for this one. Can't give up. Not now. Okay. Um, she doesn't have an action. Hmm. I'm gonna healing word... Oh, that's mass healing word. Whoops. Um, healing word. Tav, just in case. I don't know how heavy these zombies are going to hit. Um, so let's have her... Actually, let's have her go out of the poison. Critical miss. Shadow curse is going to be causing problems. Are there vents all the way over here too? There are. Oh no, she's surrounded now. And she's down. Okay. Uh, still poisoned. Okay, let's disarm this vent. Thank you. Still have guidance. Perfect. 17. Lovely. 
what I like to see. 30! Holy shit. Uh, okay, we can't do an attack right now. I assume he can't. No, can't target undead. Didn't think so. Um. Did he disengage? Uh, yeah, let's disengage and move right here. I am fury. I am death. Dead. Okay, that's good. Uh, Tav is threatened right now. That's just not good either. I can't leave quite yet. Um, oh boy. Uh, let's have Shadowheart go here. Saved Poison Cloud. Um, Greater Zombie 74. Firebolt? Uh, well, this one is 80. Let's do that. Reroll, please. Thank you. You have one hit point left. Uh, okay, in that case, let's do a spiritual weapon oh, right there. Ooh, missed. That one's coming for Shadow Heart. Uh, reroll. You missed, bitch. Oh, critical. Oh, she's dead, dead. Oh, she's back up. Why? <gasps> oh, no. Shadow Cursed. Undead, permanent, those who die in the shadows are cursed to remain there forever. Oh no. Permanent, permanent? These undead have reduced hit points and strength or resistance or card damage. I cannot use spell or weapon attacks. Um... That's a problem. Permanent, 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 or is there something that I can use to fix that? Uh... Oh no, she's an enemy now. Well, let me just finish this fight real fast. And see if I can do anything. Uh, three hit points. Oh no. I'm gonna have to read what- oh. What, you have one hit point left? Well that sucks. Um... Shadowheart, what's the- what- does she have turn undead? Pray to turn all undead that can see you. Which means what? The affected entity must move away from the creature that turned it. It can't take actions, bonus actions, or reactions other than dash, or try to escape an effect that prevents movement. Ends upon taking damage. Okay, it just refocuses its attention. Turn it 
target must be dead. Okay, if I kill her again, can I revive her? Maybe that's what I have to do. Um... This is a new development. Uh, okay, necrotic resistance, so let's not do that. Spirit guardians! Uh... Seventy-four. I kind of just have Sacred Flame or Firebolt, which Firebolt is going to be way too close. So let's do Sacred Flame. Oh, you saved against it, I see. Okay, um, I don't know where I want her to go. I think she's fine. Ooh, Spiritual Weapon is down. Oh. Okay, they're dashing. Uh-oh. Now she's surrounded. Oh, no. Oh, poor Tav. Can't control. Um. I'm going to sneak attack one of these. So let me disengage. Bonus action disengage. Sneak attack this one. I am fury. I am death. Goodbye. Uh ninety-nine percent advantage. Oh, two of these have like only a couple hit points. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. Ready. Uh, surely. Oh, she just has her. She just has the lantern. Hold on. Um. She could disengage. Oh, but that's her action. Okay, Sacred Flame you. You have one hit point, please. Thank you. Mm. Let's do another spiritual weapon. We will... Oh, can I not upscale this? Oh, I don't think I can. Hmm. Never mind. Missed. Also missed. Oh! Oh man, it's gonna be so sad. I'm gonna have to hit her. Okay. That happened. <laughs> Is she gonna be... Okay, this may this may work. If it doesn't, then I'm reloading. Uh, first of all, let's hit this one because it's. Oh, it regained a hit point. Or did it only do two? Okay, we've got level ups. I wish I had a action surge right now, but we're just going to do some healing. Need to stay focused. Um. Okay, can I... choose target to resurrect? Oh, I think it does work. Choose destination. Uh, let's have her be... A little further away than that. Is she okay? Or 
Or is she an enemy? Uh oh. I can't tell. I think she's still an enemy. Oh no. Oh no, she's not. She's fine. Oh, thank. Oh. That scared me. Um. Potion of greater healing, please. Ooh. I wasn't sure for a second there. Um. Sneak attack. I don't know why he doesn't have sneak attack melee available next turn. Okay. Odd. Uh. Let's do this one. 20. Okay. Victory awaits. Ba bam. Oh, not ba bam. That missed. Okay, try again. Okay, that did something. She's also hurting a little too, and I'm nervous about this... This whole necromancy thing. Uh, oh, she does have a potion of greater. Take one of those, please. Disadvantage, um... Spirit Guardians? Let's just do Spirit Guardians. I feel like that is the best thing right now. Uh, bonus action, she can't really move. Mass Healing Word? Sure. Everybody feels a little better. Missed. Did not miss. Concentration broken. Oh, she lost her spirit guardians already. Oh, I forgot about that. Well. Mm. Let's do this one. 17. Hit with the whip. Oh, that one missed. Okay. 70. Also 70. Okay. Disengage just a little bit. Time to strike. Okay. Get rid of this one. And then. Oh, it, they keep coming uh, up. Okay, I think when they uh, go down, they come back with at least one hit point. At least that's what it seems like. Bonus actions. I don't want to do quite yet. Concentrate. Hmm. Okay. And now she can back up a little. Lazel is poisoned. Um, let's do firebolt. Missed. Can I hit you with the whip? Good. Shall we? Can we get over here? He's gonna be in the poison gas, but oh well. Yeah, they definitely come back with one. Swift and lethal. But surely, we're good. Ooh. Okay, everyone is leveling up except for Shadowheart. Oh. Interesting. 
Uh, okay. Save. Because holy shit. Now how do I get rid of the gas? No. Um... How about... No one follow. Well, hello. Astarian. Uh... Does he have an elixir of uh, poison resistance? Somebody does. Poison resistance. Let's do that. And hopefully he can disable all the vents. Uh. Nice. Okay, can we go through here? He's fine, yeah? No problems. Oh, forgot about the shadow curse. Um. Well, let's disarm this first. <laughs> um. Oh, we don't have guidance right now. I think we're too far away. Ooh. So close. Roll again. Oh, even worse. Okay. Um, okay, Shadow Heart needs to be closer than that. Fine. I'm ready. Can I have her like right on the edge? You've got to press on. <sighs> is he still shadow curse or is he good? He's good. Oh, not enough resources. Uh oh. Oh, because it's the action. Okay, exit turn based. Okay, can I disarm this again? Can't add... Hmm. I still can't add the guidance, so we'll just have to keep going. Till I get it. Hopefully. Just barely. Uh, okay, that one is clear. That, I assume, just opens... Uh, the door. Subtle steps. Moldering coffin. Okay, there's another vent here. It's gonna be shadow cursed again. Sleight of hand. Eleven. Very good. Hey, there's still one more somewhere. Where would that be? Um. That's all clear. Where is the other vent? Hmm. Oh, right here. Okay, disarm. Guidance, because I can now. Eighteen total. Okay, are we clear, clear? Good. Oof! Well, hello. 
Okay, do these zombies have anything on them? Gold? Nothing. So far, just a little bit of gold. Okay. Ooh! That was eventful. Uh, Morgue Labdor. Uh, there's still poison coming from there. Uh, oh, let's do group mode so that everybody's together. A long way to go still. Onward in her name. Ooh, poison still. Uh, can we open these? Dead Harper. Why are we in turn base mode right now? Flackets will be done. Um at least things have stayed interesting. Why didn't to find a way forward? Tav come over. Dash. Okay. Tread carefully. <sighs> Action, not reaction. Let's just get everybody in here. I'm not sure why we're turn based right now, but environmental turn. A dull moment. I should speak up. Okay, let's exit turn base. Are we good? I wonder what the next move is. Everybody's together. Everyone's following. And what might you be hiding? Ooh, necrotic laboratory spare key. Bloodstone gold. Hmm. Oh, there's a heavy chest here. Don't touch me. Starion has to lockpick this. Fourteen guidance. Oh, natural one. Uh, let's just try again with another thieves' tools because we have plenty. Twenty six, much better. Bided time. Time thoroughly bided the wearer gains arcane charge whenever they are hit by a melee attack. Okay, I don't know what that means. A quick rummage. But regardless, I will take it. Watch your back. Is that it? pretty much everything in here? There's some caskets. I think we're good. Mm, oh, where did that go now? Right here. Okay, let's move that to Shadow Hearts inventory. I think Shadow Hearts should lead then. Uh, let's go here. There's still a little bit of poison lingering, but it's not terrible. Um, pull the lever. Won't open. Perhaps there's something nearby that can help. Locked. Better take a look around. Hmm. Is it- it's broken? 
Or... Can I hit it? There we go. Oh. No, it won't work. Okay, maybe a Starion is gonna have to lockpick that then? Let's try this one. Oh no. There's no enemies in here, are there? Uh, burlap sack? What's he in here? Nothing. Opulent chest? Well Is that Ooh. blood on the shelves? Probably cold and congealed. <laughs> blood on the shelves. Um, okay, Astarian. Disarm this, please. Seventeen! Lovely! Twenty-nine total. Now we have to lockpick this. Twenty-six total. Lovely. Eversight ring, blind immunity, the wearer cannot be blinded. Gold and a potion of mind reading. Sure. Okay. My faith will guide me. Shadow Heart, take the potion of greater healing. What do we have here? Hill Giant, superior healing, and let's look at this log. Blood and bodily fluid log, addendum the first. It is no longer necessary to log names. Race or creature type is sufficient. MT. Addendum the second. You will use either the term donor or vessel when describing a source of extraction. Victim is an ugly and inaccurate word. Name redacted. Race half elf. Occupation farmer. Cause of death. Extremity amputation. Extraction fluid. Blood. Notes. Cadaver dumped in canal. Name redacted, race, human, occupation unknown, cause of death, uh, cause of death, live, extraction. Extraction fluid, blood, lymph, spinal fluid, notes, refused, toll payment, cadaver cremated after extraction. Name unknown, race, ogre, occupation, blank, cause of death, fatal wounds to skull and torso, extraction fluid, blood, nopes, Notes, corpse, confiscated by Balthazar. The list continues for many pages. Quite the list of characters, but hardly my taste. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, Carabassin's poison. That might be worth it. Ooh. Um, okay. Let me read these things first, just in case. Research notes. I discovered all too late that I was making things much harder on myself than necessary. There was no need for such complex chemical experimentation. No, foolish me. I ought to have turned to that which has already been perfected by nature. Fortunately, my research led me to the carapace of the carrion crawler, which contains a paralytic agent so powerful, I must be quite cautious not to breathe it in during the refinement process, lest I fall asleep at my workbench. Hippocratic no more inspired. Tissue and organ register. Donor unidentified gnome recovered bladder left lung cause of death unknown necrosis. Notes gangrenous skin distal extremities missing. Donor unidentified dwarf recovered left hand both feet brain left hemisphere. Cause of death abdominal hole arcane origin. Notes run through by lightning brains right hemisphere scorched. Donor. Unidentified human. Recovered skeletal remains only. Cause of death. Cremation. Arcane. Origin. Notes. Delivered in urn. The list goes on. The final entry in includes an extensive note inked in the following script. Catharic promised the finest of specimens, yet Balthazar provides not but dregs for my research. A spleen here, a finger there, an intact head if I'm lucky. That bloody necromancer has kept the finest cadavers for himself. I will talk to my nephew. Whether he listens is another matter. Oh 
nephew. Balthazar? Huh. I I'm would be very interested to see a family tree. <laughs> no time to waste. But uh oh there's skeletons over here. We are eradicating the thorns if it's the last thing that we do. Nothing there, a pile of bones. Okay, I think that is it. Let's go down here. Save, just in case. And pull the lever. Did that open the door? Perhaps? I don't think it did. Mmm. Okay. There's still poison lingering. Uh, okay, let's have Starian possibly lock like this. Oh, difficulty class 30. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> 14. Ooh, close, but not quite. Uh, try one more time. Well, that's not gonna do it. Okay. Uh, continue. Does this lever now work? Oh, it does. Okay, I just wasted two lockpicks for nothing. It's fine. Um... That doesn't look good. No time Shadowheart, you first. I must keep going. Uh... Oh, there's a... Button for some reason. Maybe that closes the door again? Uh oh. Entering turn based. Oh, I think Tav got stuck. That's why. Can she get over here? Okay. Um, oh, there's a chest over there. There's a lot of bodies down there. That does not look good at all. Um, there's a chest here, or a wooden trunk. Oh no. Okay. What happens if we go on the edge? Nothing, apparently. Okay. <laughs> um... Interesting. Why would this be... What would be the point of going here? Uh, I'm just gonna click this button just to see if that closes the door or not. It doesn't. Hmm. I don't know what that does. Okay. Well. They all need to do a long rest, so I'm gonna do that. Go to camp. Is that blood? Uh, does anyone have anything... important? Doesn't appear to be the case. Okay, let's end the day.
Still nothing important. It would seem. Okay, no problem. Go to bed, auto select. Oh, Scratch has something to deliver, he perhaps. His tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. Aww. Give that here. What do you have? He's so cute. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Pristine mesh toe sandals. Thank you. You get some pets for being such a good boy. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily. His tail wagging even faster. So cute. Okay. Leave. Was that everything? Everybody's good. Oh, it wasn't... Uh, I forgot her name. Wasn't the girl supposed to be over here? Somewhere? In camp? Um... Uh oh I I don't see her oh I hear her though I think well there she is <laughs> she's talking to withers who we haven't talked to for a while um Arabella I have bad news Hey, you. I made it. Easy peasy. You find mum and pops? Yeah. Um. Oh, this is hard. Your parents are dead. I found their corpses. I haven't found your parents just yet. Uh. I mean, she has to know the truth. They're dead. I'm so sorry. I don't believe you. I'm so sorry, Arabella. You don't have to believe me for it to be true. It was quite the sight. Their corpses were all but turned inside out. Let's not do that. Um, I'm sorry. It isn't true. It isn't. Get away from me. Go. Oh. She won't talk to me now, will she? Alone. Okay. Well, okay, let's, uh, let's stay in camp. Um, I have been streaming for a while. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna end stream here. Um, I think we did quite a bit of exploring of the Shadow Curse Lands today. Got rid of almost all the thorns except for Catheric himself. So next time, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is, so long as there isn't anything else to look at in the Shadow Curse Lands, um, next time I'm gonna be going into the mausoleum slash Shars Temple. Uh, but I'll probably do a scan of the Shadow Curse Lands quickly first. I do have to double back for the Toll House stuff, uh, and Roland because it didn't save before. But, uh, yeah, that should be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.